Last night was something, huh? Got invited to a fancy feast, enjoyed some food. Except for Narcrawl, who goes, really? Really? This fucking thinly sliced? Um, <laughs> um, but you guys uh, basically saved Town Square from a bunch of demons. Uh, went to the ball, uh, fought a cake monster, and it turns out that Tahir was a secret Harper agent. Who basically, him and the other Harpers in the town concocted this whole thing. Basically, the plot was to put a false story in the Gazette, knowing that one of the Black Rose Pirate crew would come down and see your sister. Sorry, see your sisters. And basically, was, oh, what's up, the drop point? That way, we can just go on her, and that way, she can get under arrest, and then she would probably spill her guts about where her pirate's uh, ship is, uh, the rest of her crew. Basically naming names, all that stuff for the Harper Agency. But this Harper Agent let it slide because you did save the Gala with him from a demon cake, not a mimic. Let me put that perfectly clear. It was a demon cake. Um, so the you got lie. out of dot you know, the cake was a lie. Um, you got out of uh, in the dead of night, uh the Harper Agent already had your carts and horses ready for you and you fled. Uh it is now three days to Marin. Um, and in between sessions, we did a little bit of role playing for the Discord chat. Um, you guys all got your long rest. You did some back and forth role playing with each other. Uh, a giant eagle came and visited Jen and dropped off a plus one press plate that he secretly ordered for Narcrawl from the dwarf because the dwarf said, basically, the notes say, Well, you're gonna down those mines. Why waste good armor? Here you go. You already paid me for it. And Dark now Narcrawl has plus one breastplate. It is around 10.30ish in the morning because you guys got to a late start because it's been a long night. Um, uh, and now you're making your way down to the, not Vermillion, but like the, the, the pit stop town to Vermillion, known as Marin. But that's three days away. Also, Narcrawl, three more days to the full moon. Yes, sir. Alright, so... Alright. So, you guys realize it's sort of a rainyish day, and it's gonna be a kind of a trog. And... We're back to encounter rolls. So, Vito, Jen, you're not gonna be here for two weeks. I'll give you the first roll. Roll me a d10. Cool. Alright. D10. Roll to everybody. Oh, it's a five. Oh boy. Ooh, very middling. Very concerning. I need somebody, and your roll didn't show up in the chat. Nice. Um, whatever. Yeah, I no. You. Um, custom rolls for me don't show up in the chat for whatever reason. Custom rolls don't show up in roll yeah. twenty if you do it from beyond twenty. Yep. Uh, okay. Um. I need, let me roll something really quick. Uh, let's see. What's the command? Uh, That's exclamation point. Oh, it's exclamation point or? I believe so. Okay. You see yeah, you already are... rolled the five. Yeah, so I'm just trying I'm to see if I can might, actually might make it. Through. All right, so it's I Picari need slash. It's slash art. Okay. I need um right. somebody to roll a perception check. Uh, I'll do it since my bird's gonna help me or not. Fourteen. Hey. Okay. All right. Um, that's a pretty good roll. While walking down this pathway with all the horses Jen probably on top of bone shadow like always yes <laughs> yes so cool <laughs> so nice also you get probably to... flying ahead of the group actually now I'm thinking about it you get to here and Jesus. I'm so sorry I know bone shadow's so dead so before before yeah. we do anything uh in the morning Jen would have summoned Lenore just to have her around. I know, but you're still in the cart. 
What? Okay. You're still in the cart. No, oh, I'm you're on, still on Bone Shadow. I'm on Bone yeah. Shadow, but... Oh, yeah. No, what I'm saying is that I would have summoned Lenore just to have Lenore. Ah, okay. Yeah, I know. Oh, and uh, when you summon Lenore, uh, she goes to Ivan and starts pecking the shit out of him, and you hear <laughs> telepathically, Stop fucking thunder-waving me! It goes back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Good bird. Goddamn woodpecker. <laughs> And then you hear Lenore goes, next time I take it as fucking eye. Wow. I keep forgetting I have an owl. I, keep fucking I didn't know they had beef. I didn't. Well, no, they, they killed it, him in the last fight. Several times, yeah, I think. Second time. Second time. Yep. He zapped Lenore out of existence. Gotcha. <laughs> um, so you're on Bone Shadow. Everything is out. Oh, where we are. All right. I'm so sorry about this. I am but, the yep, uh, I, you, you still the also still on the cart. Yeah, yeah. So suddenly, you see a oh, large what? feline beast attack one of the horses. Fuck. <gasps> Alright, hang on, I gotta roll to attack, and it's technically, it's stealth beat your perception, so... Oh, what was it stealth, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> Uh, 18. Ah, oh, fucking one above my passive. God damn it. So, let's see. Do, 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 do. No. So, does, does a 22 um, yes. Yes, hit the yes. horse? All right. Um, Should I make him re roll it? <laughs> That's my question. All right. And it's going to take seven piercing damage. And oh the horse God. needs to also make a. Uh, Ooh, the horse also needs to make a strength save. Okay. And... 14. Uh, Pepper goes down prone. No! Alright, as you see, the teeth just gnaw into the neck of this horse. You see the horse fall over. I need someone to make, you, make a nature check. That is not my expertise. Not it should, about it should be, because I have a plus five to intelligence, but... We're going for it. I have advantage, buddy. I'm helping you. Oh, oh fuck. Right flashlight. 19. Uh, you realize, Narkrow, that this is a mountain lion. And using your perception, you see more oh, mountain God. lions oh, come no. out. As a reaction, can Jen... <laughs> As a reaction to this tech, can Jen cast uh, it Eldritch Blast at that first one when he attacked uh, Pepper? It would have to be disadvantage, though. Okay. Five. All right. One more hmm. level, and I get uh, advantage. Guardian. Because because these are because my lines oh. are fast, and you'd be like, oh. That was a four. So Jen, just out of, so, Jen, just out of shock, you Aldris blast out of instinct, and it goes flying. Roll initiative. Hey. Oh, boy. No! I can't roll initiative. I don't have, I don't I don't have access to oh, my, my horse. Token. I don't have access to a token. <laughs> oh, no! Because you're all oh. still in the car for so the wow. third time. I am not. Well, Can you give me access to Bone Shadow, please? Mr. Ulthric would have been flying in front of the scouting because he's. Right. Can fly, but I guess not, okay. Alright, I thought. Bye. Alright. You have access now to Bone Shadow. Right. Sweet. So, let's look at all your initiatives really quick. 18. Hey, This I'm gonna say you dope. and Bone. Yeah, I'm gonna say that you and Bone Shadow share the same initiative. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's fine. All right. So at turn, <laughs> they're going to roll. Oh. Uh, As a side note, uh, Chris, the player, forgot that he didn't know about the armor. So we'll retcon some roleplay after that. Alright, hang yeah. on one second. Uh, Althrak, you wrote a 13. 
<laughs> Ivan rolled a <laughs> six. Oh. Want want. Edith rolled a 21. twenty-one. Well, Edith beat uh, Alteric in initiative. Um, yeah, I rolled low today. We both have the same modifier too now. I rolled the lowest. <laughs> you rolled a three. I'm sorry, buddy. That's sad. Sad, All right. sad times. Alright. Alright, just. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Edith, I'm pretty sure you're gonna jump out of the cart. Yes, sir. So, Edith, you're out of the cart. Edith's out of the cart. She takes off this direction, opening up on this one with her first volley of pistol shots. I'm pretty sure that hits. If, if that doesn't hit, I, I don't know what to tell y'all. Fuck. Crazy. That hits. Fuck. Miss. <laughs> Ethereal found. Alright, you hit it. Takes no damage. For 11. Takes 11 damage. Second shot goes off. Alright, the 21 hits. Ah, uh, you bloodied it, but still up. The, uh... She's gonna take her action surge. Alright. And... As she goes to take your action surge. Oh, uh, reroll, yay. Reroll. Alright, that's your first one of the day. I know, yep. I got two. We've still got long rests to go because we have a three day trip. How do you know I'm not making you roll double encounters? Okay. Ooh, no. double the fun. So scary. I'd have spells. Yep. Well, Edith, uh, basically pop shot this one, and this uh, cougar is dead. She spins around on one knee, holding up her pistol, and she fires at this one on the top of the rock. Let's All go. Right. go. All right, uh, the 14 is going to hit. That was a max damage roll. All right, you hit it, but still up. Then Edith is going to spend the last bit of her movement and head over here. All right. And in next. turn. All right, next is Jen. Okay, so is this all difficult terrain? Or... Uh, hang on. This is just normal terrain. Okay, perfect. So, seeing wow. everything that's going on, uh, Jen is going to notice that the cougar the mountain lion that attacked Pepper has been shot. And Jen's gonna yeah. rear up Bone Shadow, bring him back here. All right. And spin back around and and attack this guy right here with a uh, Bone Shadow's oh. gonna do a trample. Yeah, they're gonna go into a charge. And it's gonna be a trampling charge. And I need this yep. cougar or this mountain lion to make a, a strength saving throw. They're really good at those. Uh, yeah. 16. Just beats the DC. So it doesn't say if they take damage from that at all. I think it was just a charge. So he'll kind of, uh, kind of stand there think... ready to, uh, stomp its hooves at it. But Jen will, okay. as they're trampling into it and it, it steadies itself after the charge, Jen's just going to reach down and punch it. <laughs> Bonk. Yeah. All right. Let Bonk. me get your token ready. Eighteen yeah. does hit. Well, he's gonna stay on Bone Shadow as long as he can. I know, but, but yeah. I'm moving you over for conveniency. Okay. Uh, so that does hit. Uh, three bludgeoning. It takes the three bludgeoning as you go. That's a bad kitty. Yep. Bad cat. Bad. <laughs> and seeing that it's you know, uh, still there. 
Uh, he's gonna cast... actually... Nope, he's going to use a key point for uh, Step the Wind. Right. And Jen and Bone Shadow are going to continue on over here. Do you have access to Lenore? Just double checking. Uh, I do. And Lenore, I'm going to tell Lenore uh, to... Uh, help the next one who comes out of the cart. <laughs> Alright, that, that'll be Althoric. Okay. I'm out of the cart. Thank yeah. you, right. And that'll be in the right. Jen and Bone Shadow's turn, and Lenore. Alright. Uh, this is Mount, all right, Mountain Lion time. And by the way, Mountain Lion and Cougars are the same thing. Um, this one is going to use the feline agility to get down off the rock over here. And start circling the cart, blocking the four players' exit. So you're gonna have to fight your way through a fucking mountain lion. Um, and these three, this one is going to rush to Bowser and attack it. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to uh, like on the bench, right? Yeah, it is. But do you have any reactions? No, not for that. I just want to make sure. I was Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, that's going to be a twenty-one to hit Bowser, which I'm pretty sure. That's right. Yeah. And Bowser's going to take three points of piercing damage, and I need Bowser to make me a strength save. I think Ivan had control of Bowser. Who made the last strength save? I'll, I'll throw a strength save up. That's fine. Twelve. Twelve uh, managed to beat it. That horse is still up. Unfortunately, then the second mount lion comes and attacks the horse. No. And these, these, these do have pack tactics. Yep. So, I'm pretty sure 22 hits. Sure. And that's eight piercing damage to Bowser. Ah, uh, yeah. Now both of the horses are knocked prone. And this kitty cat is going to go on its hind legs and attack Lenore. And... Oh, oh misses! Uh, you forgot these mount. They're 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 felines. They could freaking jump. Yeah, I didn't say how high Lenore was. So. Yeah, how high yeah. is Lenore? Well, now he's going. Now Lenore's going to get higher, but it would. She would have been a roughly around the height of my shoulder, so that would have been fine. But she'll All right. bob and weave. <laughs> Well, well, the mount, well, does a, um, let's see, for a pounce, does a, does a 13 hit Lenore? I'm pretty sure it does. Just let me look. I think her AC is 12. Yep. Nope. Yeah, that bye, 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 Lenore. See you tomorrow. Just, sound. just, you see, you see this cougar just going his hind legs, jumps up, and just snatches the bird out of midair, and... See you tomorrow, Lenore. Sorry, she sorry, Vito. Yeah. Bye, Lenore. Uh. All right, that's going to end the Mountain Lion's turn. Uh, next up is uh, Alteric. So what are you doing? You got a Mountain Lion uh, at the back of the cart. What are you going to do while you're still in the cart? No, you're still in the cart. I just put you took it for reference. Oh, I'm gonna fly out of the cart. Um, and then... Over here. 
And I need these guys to make me a deck saving throw, please. Ooh, cats make you deck saving throws. I love your thinking. Yeah, shut up. It's fine. <laughs> So, one made a 20. Okay. And the other one made a 13. Okay, 13 fails. Alright. Uh, taking one that fails takes 23, the one that succeeds takes 11. Alright, so, zap, zap, the one behind uh, in the row, uh, basically is fried and it's bloodied. Lovely, and then I will quicken spell. Uh, kill it. Yeah, they both gone. The initiative is going to disappear, but I know their initiative. Bam, bam. bam yep, they bam. are both dead. Bam, bam. Anything else, Ulthric? Uh, that'll be... That'll be it. Alright. Alright, next up is Ivan. Hey! And he's hey. here, right out You're uh, in the your uh, mountain lions, Ivan. Um, two of them just, two of them just severely injured Bowser and Pepper. It's not good. Oh, good. Uh, I'll hop out the cart. And, uh, there's uh, a mountain well, lion. Just... Mountain lion is in the back of the cart. You're gonna have to fight your way out of the mountain lion. This okay, one's yeah, that, already that's... been banged up, by the way. Okay. Um. Bane does what again? It's been banged up. It's been hit. Oh, oh banged up. Up. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> okay. That was a spell or something. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'll just go ahead and hit it with a. I'll back up like five feet. Like right there. And hit it with a crossbow. Pew pew. Let's get it. Nice hit. 19 hits. 19 hits the kitty. Three damage. Takes the piercing damage, but still up. All right. I'm ending my turn right there. I, I got to get myself together. <laughs> All right. Narcrawl. You're up now. Still on the cart. Okay. I'm going to jump down from the cart. Uh, between uh, the two you... horses. All right. So you be right. No, no, no. Ron token. Hang on. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And his left hand's gonna glow purple, right hand's gonna glow green, and mm -hmm. he's gonna start rubbing his hands together and use one of his channel divinities. <laughs> Balm of Peace. And we're gonna roll 2d6 plus 5 uh, healing for both of them. Bowser and Puck. All right. Oh, Norkel, you're such a good, good buddy to have around. Heal them ponies. Heal them ponies. Yeah, two d six. So uh, plus five, so nine for uh, let's say Bowser. Yep. Okay. And another. Is one. it a? Is it a creature or all creatures? Oh wait, it says a creature can receive this healing. So, which horse do you love more? Well, no, I can, as an action, move at my speed when you move to five feet of any other creature during this action. Oh, uh, okay. So I can hit multiples. I, I can get both of them. But I want gotcha, to flavor gotcha. like doing it at the same time. All right. You... And, I was saying, uh, like, so... Sorry, go ahead. I was, I was actually saying, like, so it's like, they're going to fucking hate me for these mountain lions because I'm going to attack the horses first. But then, like, oh, you, just, you guys are doing a pretty good job on these cougars. <laughs> uh, yeah, so then uh, 13 for Pepper. Stop with the mountain right. lion sound board. God damn it. There's a lot of mountain lions. Aesthetic. I know. It's annoying, though. I'm annoyed by it already. We're under pressure. We got we'll to turn it man. down on your, your side. Yeah. Have it down to the bare minimum of zero and it's still coming through because someone probably has an echo going over the discord but anyway anything else not crawl no sir all right next up is edith again edith's gonna let edith's gonna uh spin her pistol and then shoot this uh shoot the one at the rear of the cart 
Yep. Nice. 19. Boom. Yeah, you bloodied it. You bloodied it. Wait. Let's do didn't it take 14 damage earlier? And then yeah, 6. Take 14. And then yeah, 13 and more? And for some Wasn't reason, that? I. Yeah, let me double just look up your rolls. Yeah, they took, uh, they took 14 damage, plus 13 okay. is 27, and I killed it with less than that. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting my mount lines confused over here. Yep, it's dead. Right, and Edith's gonna. Edith's gonna spin up under. Uh, she's gonna. Uh, the, the first. Uh, the first shot she shot across her body, and then the second shot she's gonna shoot with her pistol and shoot it this one. Nine. All right, that's dead. Now I can turn off the animal sounds. Boom, boom. Bang, bang. Up All right. She, spin, she spins her, uh, she throws her revolver in the air and holds it out, and it just slides straight into her holster. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking Old West <laughs> fucking pops the hip out. Ping, falls in. Ping, baby. Cool. And you see the smoke, and you see the smoke off the revolver just exiting out the bottom of the uh, the uh, holster. And it looks like her ass is on fire. So <laughs> you have five dead mountain lions. Lovely. I would. Does anybody want to help me skin them? <laughs> we can sell their pelts. Not later. the worst. Ben thing. has no need. <laughs> Who's the uh, high survival? Narco Actually, is helping Pepper and Bowser up. I, I I don't really Calming have survival. I, I've I, never. I I've survival. lived on the open seas. I have. Survival. I have plus five survival. I do too, but you're helping the horses, so. Actually, I can. Just well, I can give you a hand. How long? Uh. Maybe we just put them in the cart and take them with us when we camp for the night. And then we'll get them. On the way. Yeah. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. that'll work. Yeah. We will. Here, I'll roll a. Uh, survival. Just to gut them here, take out the intestines. 18. Okay. Yep, you managed to get five decent pelts. Uh, Narco, yeah. roll me, Narco, roll me a D hundred. D hundred. Ninety two. That sounds great. All right. All right. Nothing well. happens. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> we rolled a lower. We're gonna really see all the cubs, oh. all the crying cubs. Fucking come mothers. out of the cave. No, there would be a pack of mountain lions. Too real. Too real. No, no, no. I uh, post campaign. I'll tell you why you rolled the D hundred. Okay. Okay. But you were. But the cubs was leaning a little bit close. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> um. So, um, after getting your lion pelt and skinny these cougars alive, the journey continues again. Uh, he just wants to roll up the sides of the cart. It, 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 it's, you know, so we can have a little more visual. Alderic's going to be in flying in front of the cart. So we don't get ambushed again by them. Alright. We're going to have to, you, like, Hit my ride, this cart. Okay, yeah. Ride. Put machine guns on the side, baby. Put a cannon it, in the back. Ben's gonna, it's about uh, time to upgrade the cart. Ben's gonna go up front and stay about 10, 15 feet in front of the cart. Just kind of be in front, keeping an eye out for things that may pop up. And we're All going right. easy on horses. Yep. Nice going easy trot. through this through this light rain still. All right. Um, you make it through the rest of the day. The day becomes night, and I need somebody to roll me another D10. Oh, I got yes. it. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. You, okay. Never, you, <laughs> you, already, you already, I gotta respect the rule of dibs, all right? Okay. <laughs> it's been a rule ever since Julius Caesar walked on the road and said dibs. <laughs> the night goes by without any warning, Narco. Two more days to the full moon. Edith is taking her short rest, right? Well, or is yeah, that a long rest? Day, it's the end of the it's day. It's gonna be a long rest, long rest at this point. As mm -hmm. you have two more 
Two more days to the full moon and two more days to the Marin. Damn. Uh, tonight, uh, Narco wants to talk to Jen. And. Oh, thank you so much for the armor. I. I, I didn't have enough money at the time. I, I, I didn't know you did this. Th thank you. Uh, I mean, you're a big guy, and I think you need big metal, and he knocks against himself. <laughs> and it's not squeaky anymore. Then I'll turn and shift. Because now I no longer have disadvantage on my stealth check. Yeah. Hey. So. Do you still have the same AC? Uh, well, it went up by one. Because it was plus one. Okay. So Otherwise, it has the same AC as the uh, scale now. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Okay. So the next day comes and you're all refreshed. I need Narcrawl to now roll me a D10. Oh, I rolled last night. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, it went Jen, Edith, no, Aldrich, no. I haven't Not rolled at all. The D10. They rolled both D10s just now. The one yeah. for, for the way in now. And this one. Uh, okay, then. Oh, well, Aldrich, roll me D10. Okay. A seven. Ooh. Okay. A little better than six. <sighs> the day goes four. by without any hesitation. Um, while y'all relaxing on this softened trip to Marin, um, Narcrawl, I need you to roll me a religion check. No one can help. Okay. Well, only a plus three, but, uh, let's see. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Man. Oh, <laughs> so nice. uh, you, you hate when that happens. Uh, I was gonna give you a blessing, hey, but I'm just kidding. Hey, hey, Narfrol, Narfrol, oh. you roll that, but <laughs> you uh, you can't help. I'm not helping. Yeah, well, See, no, you're technically that. you're helping. Technically you're helping. You never specified the... on what I. Could I help said you helping. couldn't help. I told everybody. I, it was a self roll. That's all good. <laughs> no. I just carry on. Riding the wagon. Just carry on. No uh, okay, nothing please. to bother you about anything. Um, but you do feel like a slight tinge in the back of your brain. That's it. He scratches the back of his head. <laughs> Edith All is right. uh, concerned about Narcrawl and says. Don't you think we need to do something about your first transformation here soon, buddy? No, I'm I'm excited for it. I what if you go wild? Case. Well, I don't think there's anything going wrong with going a little wild. You just don't want Getting to kill you. Back to nature. Yeah, but what if you what if you attack us? Why would why would that happen? As far as I know, the were bears are good people. They're peaceful creatures. Not like those dirty werewolves. <laughs> like those dirty werewolves. <laughs> dirty werewolves. I still Fucking think werewolf. we might should take precautions before you transform. Okay. Okay. So, you know, good idea to be safe. I'm uh, I'm into that. I said some cuffs and then it came through as I'm into that. Some <laughs> <laughs> cuffs, I'm into that. Right. <laughs> so we need to think of a way to keep you safe and us safe. And the horse is safe. We don't know what's going to happen. Oh, just, um, well, you guys saw him kind of transform. He goes to his hybrid form, but this is going to be like. He has no choice because the full moon yeah. is going to be on the horizon. Well, and it. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. How soon do we reach the mines? Two days? Two days. Same day, well, the full moon we'll happens. Two... It's two days to Marin, not Vermillion. Oh. 
Where's Mary? Another city? Uh, it's a town. It's basically Got the it. neighboring town to Vermilion, and you guys are trying to go there to see, like, <laughs> basically ask questions like, yo, so, um, what's up with the mines? Yeah, 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 I got you. And they call it a mine. Oh. Maybe so you get... come up with, so like, a code like... word. Like, if you, when you turn, if you feel like you're going to attack us, or Bowser and Pepper, or Bone Shadow, you can give us, like, a sign, like, a high five or something. <laughs> high five. And he raises his hand to give an example. No, I, I would never belittle the power of a high five. The sign of danger. Pineapple. I, I agree, though. Uh, I could be shackled. Yes. Uh, he looks he looks concerned because he, he he never considered the concept of turning on those around him. Uh, he was excited over the idea of this. The uh, and he's had power running through him. Right? He feels changed. He feels more powerful. He's High on himself. He's pretty excited. Not high on himself. High on himself. God damn it. But he's, he's getting you know, high off of himself. Juice. <laughs> he's taking he's taking uh steroids. Taking roids. Yeah, now he's starting to think. He's like, oh there's could be some consequences that you didn't think of. Edith's going to. Edith wants to spend. Um, spend the block. No, the, no, no. Uh, you know, part of the trip, uh, taking some of the rope and working it into handcuffs, and then taking some of the uh, uh, the lion pelts and turning it into like you know cuffs and stuff like that. Want to do that now? We only got two days. I mean, it's better now than later. What but he's there? turning in two days. Yeah, prepare now. For a well, we're two days in the road future. still, right? What if we get into, like, a battle within that two days? Then wait. <laughs> we have rope. I have oh, 50, We all have 50 feet of rope. I'm not going to get shackled right now. No. We're not yeah, shackling like... him right now. I'm just preparing. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I thought you were shackling him right now. You know, let's shackle <laughs> him yeah. right now while he's driving the damn cart. No, I'm just preparing the shackles and making them better than it would be if he starts transforming and we can do nothing about it. Okay, I have one more concern. Will it be strong enough to hold him? Uh -oh. We'll find out. <laughs> it's better than just rope tying him together. And just, just to be a little meta, meta my, my strength is... Okay. Just smack it. Uh, yeah, I keep his seeing that will probably right? go up to 19. Yeah, you gotta read. If not more. Yeah, it'll go off when you transform him pretty oh. sure. Oh, Darkrawl. Yeah, I yeah. I love you. Those stats for werebear form. True werebear form. Mm -hmm. Narcrawl, yeah. I yeah, love you, man. But I will set you on fire. <laughs> oh, we will all set you on fire. Fuck. I'm. That's completely reasonable. Uh, Jen's yeah. gonna. Summon Lenore and kind of whisper right. to Lenore and say, Hey, uh, keep, keep Narcoral company for a little bit. Make him feel okay. Um, uh, how am I supposed to make him feel? I, I, all right, I, I guess. And you see Lenore just flutter over on Narcoral's shoulder. Narco would just be delighted to have a talking bird to talk to you for. That, that's what I'm saying. He's not, <laughs> not, um, Lenore is telepathically talking to Jen. Yeah, it's fine. All, all, you, all, all, all you hear is tweet tweet. tweet, tweet. Oh, close enough. Or call in this case. Oh. My well, owl. I'm still talking to the bird as though it's replying to me. My, yeah. my owl will hang out with you, buddy, too. <laughs> so, so did I make some manacles? Uh, roll me, uh, I'll, I'll help her. Roll me a... This is really wish I wish crafting was a skill. Yeah. It's basically, a... basically survival. To make a knot. Yeah, a yeah. Make me a survival with advantage. See how good the manacles you made. First one was a terrible roll. 
Second one wasn't that uh, much better. Reroll again. Yeah, this time you can reroll. Got your first one today. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. They're like those bullshit handcuffs you get from the adult store. Yeah, the yeah. Fucking, yeah. Little, yeah. little fucking cheap ones. It's the one dollar from the dollar store. Yeah, the fuck. I, I uh, want, okay, to be to be fair, I don't even think I should have to roll because I said I was gonna spend the day doing it. That is true. You know what? If you do spend the day, uh, I uh, I would I'll take a no twenty at that. Okay. Another option and is also, and also get to your... town before I turn. We can go buy chains. That is true. And also, you've been, say, a, and, and you've been on a ship all your life, so you should be knowing how to tie knots. Yeah, right? I know knots, and you know, if I take 20, you know, because I spent the day I'll doing you, it. Yeah. I'll give you that, but they're, that, they're not going to be as strong as you think, but they are a decent set of mandibles. Also, for reference, when you open way back in the um, uh, Branch Effects Manor, you opened the cellar door, and you had a foot of chain that locked the cellar door with you. Yep. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's why that's what I'm saying. I have the chain, I have the I have the rope, you know, we have oh, the, trying, the pelt, we have the pelt. Yeah. I know what hey. you're doing. I'm, I'm just gonna say it's decent, but he could get out of it. We'll see. Narco's not even pissed. He's like, nothing bad's we'll gonna see. happen. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Fucking, fucking jinx us now. We're all gonna I am die. I'm such a nice person. Look at that. Look at that. Everybody <laughs> dies. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so, um, the day once again goes into tonight. And I need uh, somebody to roll me a D10. Ah, one. Okay, That's six. We're keeping pretty middle. Yep. Yeah. You got a six, baby. Let's go. Right. God, this Not cool. Cool. Not crawl. While you're setting up the camp tonight, um, you're uh, you notice that your satchel, bag, whatever you're carrying, starts vibrating, uh, and you hear muffle, and you hear muffling. I have. I'm gonna pull it out and rush over everybody else. Oh my God, it's it's a thing. It's, it's a thing. Doing a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. Doing a thing. What a thing. What a thing to Sounds like a talking thing. Pour it out! Pour it out! <laughs> <laughs> he ruffled around in his bag for this, uh... <laughs> sending stone. Alright. What? You're breaking in and out. I think you might yeah, just be talking too loud. Talking too loud? I thought he was just really going into the roleplay, and there was... It was breaking up. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, yeah, hello? We yeah, we got you now. We got you? Okay. Alright, so we have some good news and bad news. So we found, so after interrogating the uh, kitchen staff, we found out that the demonic cake came from Waterdeep. <laughs> from a bookstore? It's a bookstore? No. Oh. No. Was it a cake store? <laughs> oh, we don't we know, know exactly. Which family? Water deep, not Baldur's Gate. That's out of that's out of game. Right. I I don't I don't think I've ever been to Water's Deep. All right, we found out that the cake uh, came from Water Deep, and um, right now me and a bunch of hoppers are gonna go over there. Apparently, belong to some cults. Call themselves the Burnt Tongue. They're basically Gosh, a bunch dude. of religious fanatics that want to summon some god. I don't know. Uh, oh, we're investigating God. them. Like, we already been investigating them since um, God knows when. Ever since the uh, Headmaster of the Academy was kind of terminated from his position from experimenting on children. So he said he does it in the name of. Uh, yeah, it's weird. I don't want to get into it. 
Uh, oh, Ulthric no. is... Cool. Ulthric wow. is... Ulthric is gonna fucking grab that sending stone. Yeah, yeah. And fucking go, excuse me, you found what? Um, we found we found out that the cake was from Waterdeep. It was sent by some cult, call themselves the Burnt Town. Oh, you, see, they all you, see, you see Ulthric just fucking starting to clench this stone, right? This is actually don't, I want to don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. slapping the hand. Don't don't break it. A sixteen. Do so, uh, you do. You know from your background that the over four don't know about yet. Oh. Um, that this was the headmaster uh, that you known that was running the experiments. How many are you taking with you? Uh, about ten-ish? You're gonna need more. Okay, we'll put a pin on that right now. The hoppers may look weak, but we have no. a lot of ears to wall, eyes to the ground. Well, listen, that's not what I communicate you for. Let us do our mission first. Second is, you five are still wanted for questioning, especially the female, Edith. We need you guys to... I need you, sorry. I need you guys to lay low. Avoid cities, avoid uh, small towns, hostels. Just be in the forest for a while until this all blows over. Well, shit. Yeah, probably not. We definitely gonna have to hide in our crawl now. <laughs> it's not in our crawl, they're after. They're after me. Edith, they're after yeah. Edith, buddy. He's, he's still saying all of us. It's just, you know, even more for Edith. Plus, what do you think a bunch of town guards would do if they found out we have, we're traveling with a werebear? They fucking kill us. Yep. Exactly. They're gonna try to more kill us. More reason to hide them. <laughs> That's why most werewolves or were creatures go into hiding. All right, so this is going to be the last sending for a while. Just nose to the ground, and then he cuts off. I don't got to buy disguises. He's still fucking crushing the stone in his head. Then I'll just raise his hand in like you're, a you're goodbye grabbing that stone five. pretty, pretty tight, man. You you okay? I'm fine. He's gonna fucking toss the stone up in the air and fucking stomp away. Narco fucking yeah. Yet. Okay. <laughs> fine. Got it. <laughs> he just gonna just kind of watch him stomp away. And she's like, uh, "How far? Are, out of character. How far are we away from the city now? A day still? Two? I'd say you'd probably get there in about." Um, the following morning. you got one more day of travel. Nice. Yeah, and then about five minutes after fucking him stomping into the woods, just fucking lightning erupts and shit starts exploding. <laughs> Ulthric's not in a good fucking mood. Oh. Alright. Anywho. <laughs> Alright. All right. Edith wants to make a nice dinner for everyone. Leave you alone, It was at sir. this moment that he knew. I was, I was hoping up. for fucking roleplay. Somebody go check on him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, no, Narco would have gone. No, no, you're angry. I'm I'm going to I'm going to let you simmer <laughs> down a little <laughs> the bit. The most fucking respectful person here. He's like, "All right, he's angry. I'm going to let him do his thing." Narco's like, "Come here, buddy. I want to give you a hug." <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll follow in after Ulthric. Uh he's just going to kind of give him his space. And work on dinner for the night and make him a nice dinner. And Narco's gonna start off. Well, <laughs> okay, little but well, I uh, you're not horses? that little. Yeah, you we, we, we see we see pretty much eye to eye. Yeah. Are the horses uh still damaged from the last battle oh, or are they they're, okay? They're they're healed up already. Oh, okay. Well I'm just gonna watch Edith cook. <laughs> that sounds Okay. Parentheses. Cook. Cook. Uh, watch. No. Watch. Uh, can, we, can we move to whispers for this, Mr. DM man? This is kind of private. Oh. Let's move to whispers. Yes. Can we? All right. Are you keep doing All right. It? 
that, that stuff. All right. Okay, bet. All right. Come on, Narco. We're going to Whispers, buddy. I've never been to Whispers. You're going now, buddy. <laughs> he said, never been to Whispers. All right, let's go. You just click on shit? Yeah, just yeah. click on it. Okay. So, you know, Edith's over there. She's taking a bit of the lion, and she's uh, got her full mess kit out. She's frying up a really nice roast. And then you see her, uh, you know, she has uh, potatoes wrapped in this foil type stuff that she calls tin boil. Mm -hmm. And she puts it next to the fire, and, uh, you know. I guess Ivan is just. Uh... I guess Ivan is just gonna just repair the cart wherever it needs repairs at. I don't know. He's he's just gonna find himself busy. He's gonna make himself busy. She's gonna talk to him while the food's cooking. She's like, I've been thinking about upgrading us to like a battle cart. What do you think about that? Put some armor mm. on it. Maybe even armoring the horses. Getting two more to pull it since it's gonna be heavier. We can. I mean, I say start. I'd say. We should first start off with um, reinforcing the wheels and the axles. Yeah. And then yeah, we can we like just slap some armor on there and maybe add some some weapons here and there. And yeah, I say another. I wouldn't even. Mm, we can I add two more horses, but I think we're fine with two. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Add another set of. Uh... And add another axle to, you know, support more weight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Or we could just make it... We could just... I guess we could just, like, make the axle we have... Just replace it with something more reinforced. Including the wheels. And then I was thinking what? even... Like a uh, metal hybrid? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, not nothing too crazy, just, you know, just reinforced. That's all. Just making every aspect of the cart better. So, like, in the wagon right now, with the, the weight that Edith has in there, we have, like, 800 pounds worth of weight in there. I don't think he goes off weight. Yeah. I don't think he uh, uh, uses, uses weight. I mean, I was talking about, I was just thinking of it. I was just thinking far as, um, you know, battle, like how, you know, enemies would attack the horses in the cart and whatnot. I feel like if we were reinforced, like you said, reinforce the horses in the wagon, they'll, you know, withstand more damage. Or we could, um, uh... yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe put some mirrors on the front part of the wagon so the so uh, driver can see behind them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's yeah. Small yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Wonder who came up with that idea. <laughs> yeah. <I'm joking. laughs> maybe put some, like, maybe when we're in town, we could put something on to let the drivers around us know what our intention to, uh, is mm. to do. Yeah, you can call them just have blinkers. your driver just, right? You know, just have the driver just throw out his arm and hand to let other people know which way we're going. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what you cooking? We're cooking wild lion with um potatoes carrots and uh, onions and garlic it's gonna be made into a stew what does that taste like and jen just kind of blinks a little bit it tastes have you like, ever tried uh... have you ever tried um <laughs> a leaf uh no i can't if you, eat, if you if you eat a leaf right now, that's how it'll taste. Edith, it's also got some rosemary added to it. Oh. 
Yeah, a little bit of rosemary across the top of it. Um, I don't know if this is weird or not, but I was wondering, and he looks over at Ivan and then back at Edith and gestures off to the, the two in the woods. Uh, I can't really eat. Do you mind if, I don't know, I, I, I watch you guys enjoy it? Just nothing. No, you can, can, can you try it yourself? Like, will it hurt you if you try it? Maybe you can taste it. Uh, I really don't have any taste I, I could try. I don't want to take food away from all There's of you. There's plenty of lion. Take out, um, I take out a ration and pull like a wing and bread out and I just hand it to him and be like, try that. See, see if you can taste that. Uh, he takes it and he puts it in his uh, his his jaw unhinges and he puts it in and he starts closing it and opening it, closing it, opening it. And it looks like everything's just kind of getting smashed up. I can hear the bones. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear the bones in the wings. Yep. Like, everything just kind of being smashed up. And he says, "I, I, I hear what's happening, but I, I don't even feel." What's happening? Man, you really are made of metal. I'll give a knock oh, on his chest. Shot. Say that's what they told me. Right. And he'll he'll kind of like spit it back out, and it's it's still perfect rations, just a little crunched up a little bit. And he'll like why, hand it back to you. you. Just, why don't you just swallow it? Why'd you spit it out? <laughs> uh. Well, I've swallowed things that weren't metal before, and uh, I don't know, a bad smell started happening after uh, like a few weeks. Oh, uh, you know what? Hold on. Rotted. And yeah, uh, Ivan's gonna reach so. in his um, Ivan's gonna reach in his bag and pull out a, a screwdriver from his uh, Tinker's tools. He takes it out, flips it, and hands it to you eat that <laughs> so we'll put the screwdriver like is it a phillips head or a flathead it's a phillips it's i'm a phillips. envisioning this okay so he takes it and he puts it in his mouth and like he chomps down on it and he bends it and it goes the metal just kind of bends uh, it, it tastes like your ration. And like, you know, really that's, over the top, boy, you'd be I'm like, like, oh, so delicious. So tasty. I'm, All right. I'm full and, now, and he'll take it back out and he'll bend it back straight and kind of like flip awesome. it over to you. <laughs> I just take it and just look at it in such amazement. Put it back in my bag and just so I'm going to pull out a bag of I'm gonna pull out a bag of screws, okay. and I'm gonna hand it to you. Try that. Jen's gonna look at them, blink, like just look pop at you, it like a peanut, and he's gonna just give you like a wink, blink, hand you the bag back, walk back about 15 feet, and just stand still and open his mouth wide and just nod at you. Oh, <laughs> this is ah oh, okay. So I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a nut out and I'm gonna throw it in his try to throw it in your mouth. Hold on. Give me a. I was gonna say, give me a dex. For sure. Give me a dex. Oh, dex. All right. Yeah. Dex. Let's see. Oh, I got good dex too. Sixteen. Clang, 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 clang. Down, you hear it hit the top of his the roof of his mouth and just like bounce around, and then you can hear it bounce down to like maybe his foot. And he just what like the hell? he puts a, a high five up and he goes ten points. Ten points to Gryffindor. <laughs> oh look, right. everyone's coming back. Oh okay right. okay. You see Nakral leave the forest and Alteric. How he just made a pretty ballin' thing of food for everyone. 
Lovely. I was not I'm throwing a... nuts into Jen's mouth. <laughs> That's don't ever fucking say that in that way again. <laughs> don't you dare. It is not what it looks like. It no, is not. Like... No, it's not what it sounds like. Jen will just jiggle his foot, and you'll hear the screw just kind of rattle around a little bit. Yeah, you all see. I'm reposting it in chat again. You all see that coming out of the woods. And oh I'm holding God. his hand up like he just won a championship belt. <laughs> Okay. Howdy. Alter, what are these channels doing? What the hell just happened? I, I don't know. Oh, all right. Alter, what do you? Alter. Alter, I gotta describe shit. Fuck. Yes, you do. Ah. <laughs> okay. So what you oh, see wow. coming out of the woods is a man that you all don't recognize at first, um, except for Edith. But that's for another another day. Um, and um, I immediately pull out a crossbow, pull out my crossbow and <laughs> aim it at you. No, 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 he's okay. <laughs> Who is that? Ulthric. Howdy. Ulthric? Oh, that ain't Ulthric. Fucking shoot him, age well, The day. bottom half. It's, looks it's me, my guy. <laughs> it's no, no, like, the I, half. I look at him. I look Edith. at him with, I look at him with uh with suspicion, and I go. Hey, Edith, you're looking beautiful today. He says thank you as she kind of says, Ew. No, what the fuck? <laughs> hey. <laughs> what do you, how do you feel about that, Ulthric? Oh, he's giving you a fucking death stare. Yeah, that's Ulthric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Ulthric. <laughs> I'm convinced. Edith walks up to Ulthric and hands him a plate of the food that she spent time cooking. It's a uh, roasted uh, deer, a roasted lion with um, mm. carrots, onions, and uh, rosemary, and it's made into kind of like a trail stew, where it's got a bit of gravy with it. Do you have fours? Can yes. all three? Can I have a mess kit for three? everyone. Describe yourself. I do too. Are you black? Oh, yeah, no, he's white. He's oh, very okay, tan, okay. though. He's oh, very oh, okay, tan. okay, okay. Um, but. So yeah, you see coming out of the woods, Ulthric, um, fucking scarred to shit, uh, and none of you have actually seen his lower body, but upper body before. This is a fun time. I don't know how to describe it without fucking posting image. Are you small, large? No, he, Are he, you he muscular? Tall. Are you thin? Musc okay, so he's well built. Um, Ooh. he's very toned. You can see roughly a six pack, nice bicep size. Um, he's got that like V in the crotch. Yeah, V in the very much a V in the crotch. <laughs> so surprisingly, Edith has a V in the crotch. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, my tree of thought is gone. <laughs> oh my god! Not a competition, Edith. <laughs> <laughs> so what you see? Oh, so shit. surprisingly, to everybody, though his lower half is dragon, he has a happy trail going up his stomach. <laughs> If anybody knows what that means, do I have to explain it? Because I will. Everybody here. Every, every, okay, everybody here does. Under, great, I don't have to go into detail. Fantastic. Like, take a nut and throw it off the six-pack no. and see if it reflects back or bounces. Okay, I was just wondering. <laughs> no, you... Okay, I said no, and then yeah, I started talking about my end. At it, though. What, what were like, you saying? Dude, Throwing that something is at hard. You? What are no, you he, at Ivan, Ivan comes up and pokes at your at your stomach, your six pack. Yes, they're real. I don't know what you're trying I, to. No, no, he, Ivan just goes. Ivan just goes, dude. That is hard, man. Like, did you just work out just now? No, they've always no. They, been like this. Narco starts doing laundry. on his ass. <laughs> God damn, <laughs> watch for ass. Narco, what did you do to him? Um, and then I helped him open up. He'll take off his cloak and he'll go sit down and everybody behind him sees this, a nice fucking tattoo, which surprisingly is fully intact, though there's no scars on it, even though there's a million scars on his back. Fully intact. That is, he gets no benefit from the healing, but. Oh, some shit going on there. Oh, well, yeah, it's basically a fucking, hey, this person's from here, get him. Out of game info for people. I don't know why I just said it, but it's fine. I like info dumping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, there you go. There's, yeah, he's got a bunch of scales, too. 
There you go. Oh, There's a little, little bit more emotional damage. Can you breathe fire now? Damage. I, I breathe lightning. You saw it earlier today. Several times. Seeing everyone just kind of staring at um at Ulthric as she came out. General just kind of like walk up, just kind of stand there and look at him. Hi. And blink a couple times, and just raise a hand for a high five. Ulthric will give a high five. <laughs> Maybe if... he will. He will mimic. Oh fuck! What the Christ did I just do? He will mimic exactly what what uh what Jen just did. Just Perfect. blink, blink. Slowly Perfect. raise a hand and high five like a robot. <laughs> and Jen kind of whispers like. You can kind of catch under Jen's breath. Smile. Because he can't smile. Oh, I was like, do you want Ulthric to smile? That was my brain there for a second. I'm like, do you want Ulthric to smile? Or he might have said, I'm smiling. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, also, Ulthric has two separate colored eyes. One yeah. is, is, which one is it? Is, left eye is a, like a, purple blue it's a very pretty blue purple and then his right eye is I think has people people have seen here have seen tokyo ghoul right i'm not the only fucking weeb here right i have Please, never heard seen of it, but I'll, I'll, but just for you i'll watch it okay thank you um it's okay you gotta watch it on crunchyroll they have all the seasons um I but have... it's basically a black eye it's a black what is what is the fucking the white of the, the white of his eye is black and his iris is red. Which is... Hang on, I can find it. Yeah, Your socket's been blown out. Like you've been beaten severely. No, it's not. No, it's like a red color. Hang on, I'm gonna try and find a good picture for this. Alright. Uh, while you're doing that, you guys can get your long rest then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. One more he sleeps day. uncomfortably next to uh, Ulthric. Ulthric. New Ulthric. Ulthric is sleeping in the cart. Oh. Narco is having sleep. trouble sleeping. Yeah. Um, Narco, roll me a con check. Uh, here's a good picture of basically what it looks like. Uh, the twinge uh, twin comes to go for the night, but it doesn't bother you. But it bothers him. That's what. That's, okay. That, that's uh, what. That's what it's supposed to look like. The right eye. I can't crop it. It's right, right. Here. Oh yeah, you could have just said that. Yeah. Tokyo Ghoul. Got yeah. Uh. Yeah, he's restless throughout the night, and now he's thinking of these scenarios he hadn't considered before. No. Oh no. I feel bad. <laughs> hey, DM, real quick. Are we supposed to be looking at the map? Yeah. Uh, this is just uh, this is just a standard map. This is. Oh no no I know I was just. This is just the default. Yeah yeah no you're you're good I was just making sure making sure I was on the right one. Progress map. Yep yeah yep yeah, the progress map. <clears throat> Got it. You guys are in the middle between the uh, mountains and Afkala at the moment, but as you guys load up for the morning, forces Gen on Bone Shadow making your way, you see that the force becomes less and less. And now you're starting to see more raggedy moss and boulders and stones and small mountains, which means that the mountains are soon going to be on the horizon, along with the mountain town of Marin. Mm -hmm. uh, almost I, there. We're almost there. In fact, you see a sign that says uh, Marin 200 almost miles. Oh. miles. Um, I need somebody to roll me a D10. I... Ivan Holgar will roll the D10. <laughs> I, me, this man right here is gonna roll Full a D10. Name. <laughs> One. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> can I can I re-roll that D10? No, I will not waste, not, I will not waste a level two it. spell slot. No. Damn it. It might be a good one. We don't know. Oh, it's yeah, it might be a good one. What if we find treasure? You don't know. Oh, I, don't it. It <laughs> I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Definitely not finding treasure. I, I so agree. while halfway point, uh, you keep on seeing signs that talks about 
how many miles you managed to go the first hundred miles without any incident and it's around now noon one ish in the afternoon um lenore obviously gets summoned again um can correct. you put my token uh, on the map i'm not in the cart i'm flying ahead of the group you're flying ahead of the group yep all right i need some all right as you're flying ahead of the group, I need you to make a perception check. I know you cannot get any advantage from flying. It's straight perception. I'm, okay, I was going to have help from my owl, but all right. Did you summon... My, summon, my you owl, been, my owl has been summoned. It is summoned until I say I dispel it, or it dies. And it has not okay, died. You need to tell me that ahead of time. It, okay, from now on, my owl is always summoned, and I will okay. summon it when he dies. Okay. Fucking 12. Fantastic. <laughs> Two 12s. <laughs> Motherfucker. Alright, hang on one I'm second. I'm going to shoot to reroll. A 19. 19. Alright. So, um, from, um, while you're flying with your owl, you see a large beast. Oh um, my god. <laughs> not. He doesn't <laughs> notice god, you at first, and he's basically sleeping. Okay, I'm going to fly back. We to need to go cart. north or. S okay, I can't see this. I'm Never going mind. To fly back to the cart. Tell them to stop. There is a thing ahead of us. Can I roll nature on said thing? It's not a beast or a, or a plant, so no. Can I roll something? You can roll a history check, but it would be a disadvantage. However, if Nagral rolls history, he has a straight roll. I will describe it to him and give him the help action by doing so. And Nagral is of giant kind. Yes. Although yeah, we that's, have that's what, yeah, that's why I would. That's why you would have the straight roll. Okay, sorry, that was history. No, history, I'm but you advantage. All advantage. Edith wants to hop out of the cart upon hearing the, the shit happen. That's not helpful. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. I, I don't want to waste another reroll. No, waste don't waste another. Yeah. And Jen yeah. try to... Uh, hearing it described, it. and Jen try to ascertain if if they've ever read about this type of creature in the, the archives. It's still going to have to be disadvantage. Okay. Somebody give him the help action so it's a straight roll. <laughs> no, he's just thinking that's fine. Do you want a history or... Uh, history. Yeah, I'm just gonna hop out the car too. A disadvantage? Okay. And... Yeah. Hmm. No, you don't know. Ain't never read for this type of creature. Hmm. Edith's gonna prepare her pistols. She has them out. She's gonna kind of sneak up to about here, you know, and hide behind the uh, the trees and see. What... Can she see what she sees here? Like, like, what does a creature look like to her? It's huge and gray and smells and has a leather thong and a club. A leather thong. Okay. I mean, and it's sleeping. It was. I was gonna come sleeping. out. Hey, what's, what's going on? What's what's? Why are we stop? What? Why are we whispering? It's a giant fucking sleeping creature on the cliff. I'll be. The fucking monsters. I don't know. Is it bigger than our crawl? This is fucking bigger than our crawl. <gasps> oh. What's going on? Probably a mountain troll out of character, but... I don't think so. Hill giant. No, he'll try and get bigger than that. But yeah, That's no, a big like boy. The... Like, is that the actual size, size, or is that blown up right now? That's the actual size. Well, I mean... It, it's right. Large. Large. Nope, it's huge. Large. Yeah. Huge, just taking up three by three. I I don't criticize my token, please. Thank you. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! It's huge. Yeah, Stop it's it. a three by three. It's got reach. It's, it's gonna have a fifteen size. foot reach, at least a fifteen foot reach. We don't know that though. Well, well, it's sleeping at the moment, so. I mean, we could. It's just a mound of sleeping. I say we just. I'm not keep going. I, I just want y'all to know that Ivan is. 
getting extremely excited at this at the at the thought of this troll. Not killing. Someone say aroused. No. <laughs> Jen is beginning to old style printer draw out what he can see of this thing and like write down whatever was relayed to him because he doesn't recall reading about it, so he wants to add it to the archives. Ulthric, gotcha. uh, Ulthric, the, my my owl is circling and watching that thing in case it does move. I'll be right back. I think we should ambush it and just finish it off. There's no way we're getting these horses in this cart by by this area. Ivan is going to take off running towards it. And we could try to sneak these. by it. <laughs> I just want to point out he's 25th off the he's 20 foot up. Oh, he's just gonna run into the uh opening of the path then. He's probably 20 feet tall. He can get down from that 20 foot cliff, no problem. You wanna try to sneak by? I mean, I'm not I mean we can try to sneak <laughs> by. Y'all try to bring the cart by, but I think it's a terrible plan. And yeah, we have to go this way, eh? Yeah. Yep. Either west or north. Yep. And we yeah, can leave no, the horse and cart back and then kind of get in better position if that's what you all want to do. Yeah, I vote to take it out before it comes a threat to us. And it's... I just want to start yelling. Hey, buddy! What, what the Wake fuck? Wake up! What the fuck? No. How does it work? Oh, he just, as soon Narcos as he shaking starts... his head. Fuck. As soon as he starts hearing him yell, Edith's gonna step out and just start shooting. Ulthric is also going uh, to start shooting. Only bond, Jen and Edith. Right. Everybody's right. shooting this thing. Surprise round. I'm sorry, I, I had to. I had to do it. God damn to. it! Well, we could have talked <laughs> All right. about. All right, guys. All right, guys. Chill, chill, chill. Um. So oh, first of all. Ooh, yes, baby. Right, so sorry, no, no. first of all. All right, first of all is uh, Ivan roll performance. Eleven. Okay, so he doesn't hear you. Oh, so well, he still doesn't wake up. Then Edith, so Ivan roll. is... Okay, never mind, go ahead. Uh, uh, one at a time. Edith, right, go ahead. Roll, your, roll your attack with advantage because he's sleeping. So technically he's prone. That'd be a disadvantage okay. because of Straight a roll. prone creature. Ah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, straight roll. Then. Right. Yeah. Straight or would it be a straight roll, roll? Straight roll. Okay. Straight roll. Accurate. Nat 20. Nat 20. Well, he's Re fucking roll. awake now. Re well, he's roll, no. fucking awake now. Yeah. So all your damage. Yeah. All right, and I forgot, how do we do crits? How do you handle so crits mad. here? Uh, double dice. All right. So, here. Uh... Add four to that roll. Eighteen. I rolled terrible. Eighteen. Yeah. He is awake. All right. Uh, you two went. Uh, who had an action held? I did. One at a time, please. Um, I did. Oh. All right. So what are you doing? Uh, he... Can I fire my other pistol or? No. Nope. It's one. No, it's another one attack. Twenty. Oof. Never mind. Forty-eight damage. Uh, Forty-eight damage. Damn. Sorry, 38 damage. 38 damage. Uh, what type of damage comes from Lightning. your orb? Lightning? Zaps him? Alright. Uh, well, you're gonna say it zaps him dead. <laughs> it's like, damn. No. Anybody else? Uh, yeah, I said emboldening Bond, not Jen and Edith. Alright, and Jen? Uh, Jen and Bone Shadow, hearing that we were gonna be spreading out for this, Bone Shadow just sprinted 60 feet in the direction that he is now. Okay. So. I, I get Lenore. All right, everybody's go. He roars with fucking anger, gets up, and boom, roll initiative. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is hyped with excitement. Oh, but yeah. Can I have Lenore? Lenore should Fucking be with you, or did I not 19. give you Oh, your there's Lenore. Again? Yeah. Lenore is here, and now I have it. Sweet. I right. should be right here. He was right here the whole time, just so y'all know. Okay. Alright, I got a Wii real quick before we get into this. Oh! Wait, I clicked my token. 
I'll be Sophia. No, you do not. Ha ha ha. Fourteen. Fourteen. All right, sure. Edith. What did you roll? An eleven. An eleven. I did not roll well. Eleven. Ten. <laughs> I love how you're like, wow, Edith goes before Ulthric? Not anymore. <laughs> Get jinxter. Not crawl world a nineteen. All right. So, Ulthric, you're first. Sorry, buddy. Um. Uh, it I is his the lightning damage. All right. Anything else? I will, I will quicken spell. All right. Edith's. an 18 hit. 18 does hit. Uh, 10 points of lightning damage. 10 points. Still up. Not like this, my turn. All right. Narcrawl. I think he went to the bathroom. Uh, we'll forgo his turn until he comes back. Ivan. Going to, um, hold on, I'm trying to find out. Give me just two seconds. How does a dodge action work? Uh, it means, like, if you is, attack, he has disadvantage, right? If he attacks you, you have, they have disadvantage against you. Basically, you're saying, hey, come at me, I'm ready for you, is what is. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, like cool. when you, it's like yeah. when you're, it's like when you're sparring with a coach in boxing, and he has the two two hands up. He's ready, so he can move his hands, basically. Right. Best way to describe. Um, it. Ivan is yeah. That's all he's gonna do. He's just gonna uh, he's gonna walk up to the troll. About like right there, and he's gonna oh, prepare God. a dodge. He's gonna, end he's gonna prepare a um. Uh, he's gonna. <laughs> he's gonna prepare a dodge action, but. As he's doing that, he's just gonna go, buddy, look at you! Oh, you are huge! That's it. That's all he's gonna do. Oh my god! End. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Say again? I was asking if Narco's back. Oh, okay. I guess he's not back. Anyway, the hill giant. Alright, the hill giant's gonna go now. And it's going to attack Ivan twice with its great club with disadvantage. So, Ivan, does an 18 hit you? It does, but I'm going to cash shield. So, your AC is what, 22 now? Uh, 17. 17, so an 18 still hits you. Oh, fuck. Wait, okay, what's, your, what's, your base, what's your base? No, what's your base armor? 12. How is it 12? Because Do you not I'm wear armor? Vice. I am wearing armor. That's the only reason why my AC is 12, because of the armor. Okay, what are, what armor are you wearing? Uh, light armor, was it? I think it was light armor. Hold on. It's like a leather. It's pretty sure yeah, it's leather. It's like, he has no dex yeah. bonus, though. Oh, yeah, you have no dex bonus. God, you need to fucking up your I have dex a dex bonus? bonus? What do you mean? Can I, I have a plus, I have a plus two to dex. Yeah, then you have 14 plus 5 is 19. Oh, you add the bo the bonus yes. to the AC? I did not know yes. that. Okay. It should auto do it on D and D Beyond. Do you have it equipped? Oh, then it's already. Oh well, I mean, if it's fourteen, it's fourteen. Fourteen plus five, so nineteen, and eighteen does not hit. All right, so cool. Does not there hit. you go, DM. Um, second attack from the big boy. Does a uh, does a nineteen hit you? Hmm. Yes, it does. No, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Uh, you're taking 11 bludgeoning damage from the Grey Club. As you see, Ivan just get swung in the stomach with the Grey Club. Oh, right. oh that one hurt! Good. And uh, that's it. And it's hurt. Uh, Knock crawl. We're back on your turn now. So go. Uh. Okay. Does Shield of Faith uh, stack with the shield that yeah. I've cast? Yeah. Yep. Okay, bonus action, uh, Shield of Faith. Your AC is now 21. So that 19 doesn't hit anymore, you get your health back. Well, it, it already happened. It already happened. Yeah, I'm just taking my turn now. 
Uh, but now your AC is 21. Because mm -hmm. for some reason you're in front of a fucking giant. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> role playing. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I get it. I just... Look at you. I'm going to Great. move up to here. Okay. And take a shot with my light crossbow. Okay. Uh, 14 hits for four piercing. Four piercing. Anything else? No, that's it. One spell, one action. All right. Edith. Edith's Man. gonna step back out from around the side of the tree and scream at Yevon, get the hell away from him, you idiot. And, uh, let off a round. Mess with... All right, she fires her second shot. It's. It's. Edith, Damn. how do you want to do this? Oh, shit. Oh. Please don't kill um, me. Please don't kill Edith's me. Edith's going to. Please don't kill me. Just, uh, uh, as she don't. fires off the second round, it just. The back of his head. It hits him square between the eyes and the back of his brain. Just leave. Alright, and the hill giant is dead. Oh man, I thought that would be way more intense. <laughs> yeah, so was I. I. Well, then again, was a little then again there. I was like, ah, ah, ah. me and Edith at the first turn did what? 38 plus 14, 52 points of damage oh, wow. right off the start. And then I dealt another night, I dealt another 28 or 29. So, I didn't have that much health left. We were <laughs> dumping rounds into that thing. And you did a four. Oh yeah, we Also. Also, hero shit initiative too. So like four people went before him. So yeah. yeah. All right. Ivan is just gonna study him. That's it. He's gonna poke his belly and cut him open and all type of stuff. He's just gonna walk up behind him and she's or walk up to. She's gonna kind of be scolding him. She's like, y "You can't just walk up and grab things. It's like that creature is incredibly dangerous." I know, I know, I'm sorry, I had to. It's, 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 look at him! You didn't have to do nothing, dumbass. He's that, like, that, he's like that, bigger than Narcrawl. And Narcrawl already looks nice as is. A lot of creatures are bigger than Narcrawl, you doofish yeah, of a man. Yeah. I have to pitch in here, bud. That, that was that was a little reckless. Hey, he's, just gonna, he's just gonna walk off with a sad expression. No, no, don't don't take it like that. No one understands me. No, I'm playing. <laughs> or, uh... No one understands me, Mom. What do you mean to me? <laughs> okay. All right. You take time to heal your wounds, Ivan. Um... Only Ivan. I get a spell slot <laughs> back if I'm taking a short rest. Yeah, you have to take a short rest. Yeah. yeah. You, um walk with the horses and bone shadow in the cart and you see a sign that says Marin straight ahead and let's talk about Marin shall we as you enter the city I'm pretty sure Alteric has his cloak up or you yep, cloak down it's up anytime he enters the city it's up um, oh, buddy, you don't this is the town of Marin I stop over um this is the town of Marin, especially, uh, it's most likely a stopover for attempting the trip into the mountains. Uh, nestled at the foot of a mountain range of Ob, the town is the last bastion of civilization for the inhospitable climate of the peaks. Not large enough to be a city, basically a stopover town. So if you're looking for weapons or magic items, you're gonna have to check somewhere else. These are basically cell wares, uh, or crafts, like... Uh, you know, food or farming equipment, clothes or chains and shackles. You don't know. There, there is. Uh, as you open the open air market, where it's basically the little town center hubbub of the city. Uh, to the right, you do see a inn, a small inn, called the Aboard Weasel, along with other ne'er do wells. Uh, basically hustling and bustling around this town. Um, what would you guys like to do? I'm going to find a clothing store. Black Easy smith. enough. There's no blacksmith. There's, excuse me? There's no he blacksmith. Is that a, is that a clothing he, store? 
No, call oh, the store. store. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said blacksmith. Sorry. Yeah, yeah I, I said uh, if you're looking for weapons, so if, I, if you look for weapons or magic items, you're gonna have to check somewhere else. This is a farming town at most. Well, not not weapons, but like I said, chains and shackles. Even like a simple metal worker or. You could find a metal smith, but you're not gonna find a blacksmith. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna find a clothing store to buy um, well myself a cloak. Ooh. All three. Easily. Edith his in in the cart before they get to town, Ulthric will give Edith his current cloak and wear his cloak that he bought for the party. You're giving me a cloak? No, Edith. Oh, okay, okay. E D I T H Edith. Sorry, I, I didn't hear you. Sorry. Edith. Hey, we do uh, have like five cloaks from that one. Yeah. Uh, that no, one I need like faction. I need like one that'll hide me, you know, from like the laws and whatnot. Edith wants to head to the bar. Y'all are brave. Jen will follow oh behind, God. and Jen still has his top hat on, by the way. Top? Nice. <laughs> He's a fancy Warforged man. Yep. Do, you have, do you have a little cane where you can walk, like, super upright? There's a quarter Chop staff. Chop it in half, it's a cane now. <laughs> also, Ulthric is a cane. He's a monocle. He has his yep. monocle and fucking posh, upright posture. Okay, so you easily find that. Are you still going to the clothing store first? Yep, I am. You see a small, little, stout uh, female human. Uh, she sells you, uh, what are you looking for? And she goes, oh, hi, dearie. Uh, are you new in town? Welcome to Marin. Uh, you're looking for something to wear? Yeah, just a cloak. Something something heavy and thick. Not oh. too thick, though. Not, none heavy. That was the opposite of what I just said. So are you are you looking for like something like a windbreaker or something? Sort of cloak? Mm -mm, yeah, nah, nah, more like a. Hmm. I didn't think about this. More like just something you know, like like a robe, but with the hit with the with the large hood. Oh, I could use a. Uh, and she gives you. She goes to the back and gives you. Uh, what you described with this thing? Yep, that'll work. Alright, uh, that's gonna be, uh, two silver, please. Perfecto. And I'll give her two gold, because I don't know how to convert to silver yet. That's right. ten, it's ten silver per gold piece. Uh, just, 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 just give him the two gold. We don't have to get into the map until later. Right. Alright. Until later? Oh, no. Yep. Yikes. Um, at, later means out of the session, later. Oh, he can okay. turn it out of game. Alright. So you give him the book, <coughs> and she cuffs a little bit. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Mm-hmm. And I right. put it on and leave the store and meet up with the rest of the group. All right. So everybody eventually, uh, who wants to get the manacles? Yeah, actually, I'm looking. Uh, I want to find like a like a trapper, uh, a hunter. You, you do see a hunting shop. Um, basically, this is for uh, basically hunting creatures in the mountains. You know, bears, mountain lions, mm -hmm. um, elk, all that stuff. And you see this, like, uh, olden uh, half-elf, like, going, Ugh, welcome to the shop. What can I get you for? And, uh, again, Narco looks uh, visibly nervous. And he's like, I... I would like bear traps. And chain, if uh, you have it. A powerful oh, lock and a stake. Uh, hunting bears. Oh, uh, we do have many of those bear traps. Uh, how many are you looking for? Do you want like sturdy steel or do you want like a one and done? Your strongest steel. All right. Oh, that's gonna be made of uh some hardened steel, definitely dwarven made. He like takes down a bear trap and like opens it up and he puts like a uh well he puts like a large thick uh two by four and then he like takes a ball bearing and whoop, smash and like splits the wood in half like something like that yeah you, you see narco he, he flinches that when it happens uh oh, scared you yeah, and i don't worry i'll t i'll take two you'll take two uh two of them bear traps gonna round you up to five gold a piece yeah yeah it, it, 
All right, and, and he a puts a slink of a chain and a a stake for the ground. Oh, we definitely have those. Uh, how long a chain are you looking for? Ten, ten foot. Off oh, a fort should be only serve up to six foot. Yeah, that's fine then. Six foot, um, one chain. Uh, well, I guess two chains, two stakes, two traps. All right, all right, all right. So the traps plus the chains plus the stakes. That's gonna bring your total to now about thirteen gold. And Narcos is still looking around. Uh, do you, you have you, shackles, you, metal shackles, manacles. We have shackles, but for only uh, basically the smaller rodent kind. You know, porcupine, raccoons. We don't have some shackles for big old, big old bugs. Narco looks at his own wrist. He like, no, that'll never work. Okay, he digs around, pulls out uh, fourteen gold. All right, oh, All right thank you. And he, like he takes puts it, it on like, like a puts it... bag. Yep. All right. Yeah, and he walks back to the group. All right. You guys all meet at a inn called the Board Weasel. Uh, it's a mid-range tavern and inn. The Board Weasel features a dining area. It's, it's about uh, 30 to uh, 40 people. You have a couple small bedrooms on the second floor. Uh, they have a one tub and one bathroom that you can use for an hour, but it's going to cost you a silver. Um, the special is, and this is from the book, it's a piping hot stew called Salty Fish Surprise. Mm. You see a uh, olden man um, around his 90s, basically wiping um, the the, the uh, bartending table with a, with a rag. Um, he looks up at you guys and goes, Well, come in there. Make yourself at home. His features of that, uh, who is here have seen The Shining? I have. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, but I know what you're talking about. You know the old black man that told that tells Danny he got the shining? Yeah. He looks just like that. Oh no. I don't trust this guy already. <laughs> they called it shining. And he goes, Well come in there. Uh. Get yourself at home. Now you want fish uh you want me to get you bow that false just fish surprise? You know what? I just ate. I I think I'm good. All right, bring, then. Bring pictures of ale. Pictures Edith of ale. Says, Edith says no, thank you. She's like, could we potentially rent out the entire top floor? Ooh. Uh, uh, wow. For five people? I, I I reckon you can. Um, that's going to be around ten gold a night, though. That's, that's fine. fine. Okay. You she know, when I, 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 oh, thank you very kind, ma'am. Uh, when I was cleaning the windows, I saw you coming in with horses and carts. Uh, oh, yes. If, if you're going up the mountain trail, I'm afraid them horses and carts are not going to help you. It's the muddy season up there. You'll be digging them out every 20 feet. When is the muddy season over? Thank you for the uh, tip. And uh, 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 the muddy season usually lasts about a month and a half. She's going to tell him, she's like, I want no, it's like, I want no visitors to the top floor. Uh, he starts like wiping it down. You're strangers here, aren't you? I've seen your kind around here. There's only humans and elves and half elves. Starts wiping down. Dragon she's just going to kind of walk off. She says, uh, she's like, I keep to myself. Uh, uh, no business of mine, ma'am. You want five <laughs> round of beers? Uh, I'll give you a round of beers. I don't drink. Yeah. You do drink. You drink once, and you loved it. Edith's going to come over to her group now. She's like, I've rented out the whole top floor. We should be okay up there. Jeez. She's like, but we still have a problem. We have two problems. We don't know if we've been recognized in this town, and we don't. Uh, we need some. We need to find something to do with uh, uh, Narcro. Well, Narcro's gonna 
pull up the bag. Like I, I have that part handled. You want me to hold on to that? And Jen will just tap his bag of holding. Well, yeah, he'll open the bag. He'll show everybody what's inside. It's, uh, I, I think I'm going to go into the woods tonight. Away from the town. I can Should help you. someone go with you? Oh, there you go. I have a way with metal. And Jen doesn't need to sleep. Talk, talk. Ivan, I, after Ivan, I mean, after Ivan hears what Jin said, he goes, I, I, why do I believe you? I, I still don't think anything will happen. Nothing, nothing bad. Nothing's gonna I, happen, I, I, big I, I, buddy. If, if you can, stay within 100 feet of the town. I feel like I can hope I have a with you, and if something does go wrong, I can be here for the good of it. Well, I definitely plan on going more than 100 feet away. Narcrawl, I believe you as well. I don't think anything will happen, but I just want you to know if something does happen, I will set you on fire. So, I, you know. I, I hope you do, little buddy. Yeah. And yeah, Narcrawl's gonna down a couple pitchers of beer and then uh, excuse himself with Jen. At this point, he's very head down. You see the barkeep. All right. So at this point, the barkeep is going to come on over and just start giving you beers. Well, that's a pretty big fella for drinking all them beers. <laughs> and he starts coughing in his rag. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Puts all the beers down for you and starts to walk away. You sure don't want nothing to eat? Actually, um, speaking of eating, uh, have you ever heard of Vermillion? Oh, yes. I'm from the middle and all right. <laughs> I'm in that town and, oh, God. Ever since I lost my, um... Uh, uh, ever since I lost her, I, I left the middle and... Oh. Well, uh, that sounds rough, guy. And he'll, like, gentle raise a hand for, like, a, a high five. Not understanding that it's probably not the best time for it. Uh, and then they'll just and, straight up um, continue, um... What can you tell us about it? I heard there's some some mines over there. Some mines until the whole town shut down because of the tragedies there. Explosions, people disappearing. The cave-in was probably the last straw over there. I used to work there as a miner, but then when the town shut down, I came here and started being a bartender presence. Ma took everything from me 70 years ago. Lost my wife in the explosion. Became a bartender's apprentice. But I went back there one day, left the locket in the tree. Every now and again I go, carefully, and go visit my wife's tombstone over there. Uh, I mean... <sighs> but but it, it each season's getting... But each season's getting harder and harder, especially my age. And especially now, the muddy seasons become more rampant now all of a sudden. Well, it, and Jen will look around, it seems like you're doing all right for yourself now. I'm sorry for your loss, but... And then Jen will just kind of like straighten up a little bit <clears throat> and pull out a, a quill and a little notebook and say, I'm uh, from the Cobalt Soul. I'm just adding areas and locations to our archives. If you could show me a map or draw me a way to get to Vermillion, uh, that would be appreciated. If if you'd like me to stop by your wife's uh, tomb or uh, resting place uh, and lay something there for you, we can do that as well. All right. Well, that's my kind of you, uh, Mr. Tin Man. Um, well, uh, there's only one route to Vermillion. Yeah, but it's covered in the mudslides from the season. Like I said, like to your female friend over here, you'll be digging your horses and carts out every five minutes. They'll just sink right to the bottom. We but we do us. We'd appreciate we, it if we, you we, could. Uh, I mean, if you could find somewhere where you could rest our horses and someone to watch the cart, and he'll pez out, pez the Spencer out a, a few gold and place them on the table. <laughs> uh, we. We'd be appreciative. I mean, we could probably go on foot. Uh, all right, then. 
uh, it's about a three hour trek for the mud of the gunk. Uh, we, just a matter of fact, we have a stable out back that you could hitch up your horses and your cart. Uh, it's about, well, let's see, it's going to be a gold per, uh, with the feed. That's what this is for. And he points to the coins he just gave him. Uh, uh, I have one of my help, and he points to, like, a, uh, teenage, uh, helper. Hey, uh, Austin, uh, why don't you go stay with them horses? Uh, well, then, uh, and you see the little teenager, um, go outside, and and uh, after he's done wiping down on the tables and you hear him go out and then suddenly he starts talking ah, so this is the room ah! just say Hang come bone shadow and he'll follow Jen just kind of yells he out goes. the door okay oh my and you hear him yell Ugh, bone shadow that's a that's a that's an interesting name for a horse anyway uh to get to the mill it's gonna be uh three hours east um, why, why, can, can I ponder a question to uh, all of you? Why, why are you so interested in Vermillion? Why We're gonna what? clear it out. Edith sets her pistol on the table. She says, uh, none of your business. I mean, like I, I said, say I'm anything. adding areas to the, the archives for the Cobalt Soul. Just oh, mapping right. the areas. All right, Edith, first of all, roll me intimidation check. All right. Um, Rick going to growl and assist. Aldrich will also growl and assist. Uh, Why are we being us aggressive towards the man? You know, there's a, like, a, I just want to point out, you're, you're grown in a 93-year-old <laughs> black dude. Three Mr. Strong! <laughs> Two big boys in <laughs> Good point. So what do you, what do you have even... Why do you... So, DM, would he have even asked the group what do we want with Vermillion if I had already said I'm mapping yeah, the area? I did already say that, yeah. yeah he, no, but he's just keen, like, why are you heading towards Vermillion? He doesn't care about the mapping, he just want to know why you want to go to the town that he's in for tragedy in. Oh, that's, that's what I told Map him, I said area. I'm mapping the area for the Cobalt Soul archives. I guess uh, he would only well, ask that to, uh just because you were asking for directions instead of just why i don't know leave me out of it hey he's and an old man he problem. forgets sometimes <laughs> yeah anyway yeah all right so he's gonna go like all right all right i won't ask you any more questions but if it hits the mines you're gonna be lost you need a passport no one to ask us the mines even while they're abandoned like I said before, tragedies fall over in that town. Lost souls. Explosions. Are there, any, are there any guards there guarding it or something? No, hence why it's abandoned. So why do we need a pass? Yeah, why do you need a password? Oh, the town you can go free range about, and you need a password. Uh, when the mines were finally shut down, they hired an arch druid named Xanthoria a long time ago. And she sealed it with a druidic password so no one can enter the mine besides animals. Shit. I'm not saying this in character, but good thing we have werebears. What's the password <laughs> there, <laughs> old man? I don't know. She only told the mayor of the town and herself. We're the only two people who know the password. Out of character, you gotta kill the mayor of the town. Where is this mayor of the town? Can't you Dad? just tell us what it is? He doesn't know. Uh, he the mayor's he dead. The, no, the, he said the, the mayor the, knows. He's not the mayor. No, he said the mayor knows, but the mayor is dead. Oh, he just and said two, is people, only say, two like, people know uh, him and the mayor. No, the druid. mayor and herself, the druid lady. Oh, oh, okay. I heard wrong. Sorry. All right. Continue. Edith is going to be like 10 years ago. Edith's getting kind of pissed. Sorry they told this crazy old man to leave. <laughs> Around what time is if it? We keep asking him questions. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Narcrawl is getting cold. How long do we have for Narcrawl? How many more nights? It's, it's tonight. tonight. Oh, it's tonight. Okay. Yeah, what time? Hey, hey, old man. Question. 
and then can you please leave us? What time is the full moon up tonight? He takes his stuff and goes, I don't answer crew people who are asshole to me, and then leaves. I forgot I growled at him, shit! <laughs> Anyways. Alright. Narco slam him back, beer. Slam him back, fucking beer, go, gone. Jen will give you his as well. Or yeah, theirs. Culture will give him his, yeah. Well, well, can anyone here speak to the dead? I, I, I can speak to the common, draconic, and infernal. That's that's the best I can do for you. Like, do you have yet. a spell that not can speak, yet. I gotta get to, level speak to the dead? I gotta get level three. Alter I, does. Can't. Oh wait. No, I can't. I gotta get level level five. I have third have third level spells. Hold on. Oh. I mean, I have Lenore. You have your owl. That doesn't speak. That doesn't. Well, can Lenore go back to the Lady of the Dead and see if she can summon yeah, the wizard, soul? Wizards, wizards don't. I mean, get, she can enter. She can enter the cave uh, or enter the mines. No, what, what I'm thinking is we just get the password from the the, the dead mayor. The dead mayor. Well, if we can't talk to the dead mayor. Then... Uh, hey, Narco, what spell cast level are you at right now? Uh, second level. Okay, so we, you need another level in order to get it. So I'd have to take, I'd have to take fucking, uh, I'd have to take, to get that shit. Yeah, she's like, I would think the druid would have to come by to re, reapply a spell. No, spells like that last for a while. I mean, we could probably go there and look for the druid. I'm assuming, maybe. If the druid was He's gotta in charge be of nearby. People, uh, yep. I'll send my owl out to kind of look with a note attached. Then Lenore off, maybe. Carrier pigeon style. Uh, Narco growled, but he is tipping very well. Yeah, North Narco growled, fucking 50 gold down on the table. <laughs> Hold on one second. I might be able to do something. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find something. The most annoying part is, I, the wizards don't get the ability to talk to them, even with the fucking necromancy skill. Even with the fucking necromancy shit. Speak with undead. Bard, cleric, knowledge domain, the undying, and the undead. Okay, so what Why are we doing? Why don't I That's weird. Right now, I think we're resting for the night. Yeah, we're gonna go. I'll pick up. Right. We're going okay, in the morning. Just heads up. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. Yeah, I was just going to spend a little time trying to figure out a way of, you know, just trying to figure out how we're going to do all this. After, uh, Narcro's done pounding him back, Jen will spend another couple gold to, uh, get him some more and let him pound that back for a while, a couple hours, and then, uh, right. stand up and gesture to, like, his wrist. Uh, there's no timepiece or anything, but it He's seen people do that before, and he's just assuming yeah. that's like, it's time, they're big buddy. What if we uh, had a way to, like, counter spell or, like, destroy a spell? I, I need one more level in order to do that. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Okay. I just also want to... I just also want to point out that an arch druid sealed these mines. Yeah, I need yeah. to roll a really fucking high arcana in order to... We can find her and just make that... Yeah, we can yeah. we can just try to find her. Or we can come back tomorrow and Narco will apologize for his bad behavior. Also, uh the Arch Druid to these mines eighty years ago, so Ivan hasn't been mean to him. Edith yeah. has. Edith, Edith doesn't Edith like Narco and fucking Ultra Cav. I mean I could just come back by myself and try to talk to him. Well, he said the mayor's dead. That's a dead that's a dead shoot of getting the spell. Okay. We have to find the druid, that's their only chance. Or if we level up, I can do it! I just have to really roll a really high arcana. Wow, this is a real head-scratcher. All I need is a level up, and then I can do some fun. Alright, alright, Edith all wants right. to go with Narkrawl and, uh, help secure him. Okay, so, three. We'll right. leave, we'll leave Mr. Ivan to do his magic with talking to people. Okay. I mean, if talking to people is not going to help, then... Yeah. Hey, 
You can ask. You're you the nice ask. Just, you know, You're the I'm child. Just, I'm gonna go around town. I'm gonna go around town. And just, I guess, talk to people about the mines. Um. So you go around town. A lot of them are dead shoots. They either curse the town or they want nothing to do with the town. But you do see a half elf flower vendor going. I can give a guess. Hello there. Welcome hey, to my hi, flower shop. Hi, uh, you, you see this uh, flamboyant um, male, uh, good half elf, um, and he goes like, "Oh, what can I get you for? Uh, the roses on season. If you want to get something for that special somebody." <laughs> hey, you know between what? you and uh, hey, Go did ahead. you All know? Right. Listen, I don't mean to gossip, but uh, <laughs> I heard that someone in this town got someone pregnant. Just keep your nose to the ground. I might actually come back and find out more on that, but that's not why I'm here. Um, I mean, come back for that. Never mind. I'm, I'm actually just wondering if anybody knows anything about the Vermilion Mines. Oh yes, oh yeah. Um, so about a long time ago, I was just a mere little half elf baby. Um, my parents fled the mines after all the disasters, you know, explosion, missing people. But from yeah, what I heard. Yeah, and in order to seal up the mine, uh, they hired this arch druid named Xanthoria to basically seal up the mine uh, with some druidic password or something. And it was only her and the mayor knew. And uh, and between you and me, I think the password is somewhere in the town, written somewhere in the town. But I don't yeah. know. I don't know anything about that. It's none of my business. Have you seen him before? Uh, no. Like I said, I was like about like a two-year-old when I left town. And I've been here with my parents' flower shop ever since. I don't go to that dreadful place. You know, no, no, no. I, I know. I understand that. Yeah. I mean, how did you know How did you know that the password might be written somewhere in the town? Did oh, someone tell you head. this? Or? Oh, it's a hotbed for adventurers. And, uh... The mayor, the old dwarven mayor, went a little see now, saying that she knew the password. But people were like, "What? What's the password? We want to reopen the mine." But you know, the forgetfulness disease kicked in, and she's like, "I knew the password." And then she was like, "Then the next sentence was like, what's for breakfast?'" You know, brain rot and all that. Ooh. Thank you for that information. You know what? I will take a bouquet of flowers right now. Just just give me all different types. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You know, this is a lovely day for you. I knew when Ashravan saw this little black dude walk into his shop, uh, I knew he would be a rightful customer. Um, and, and he, like, steals up flowers. Okay, that's a bouquet of uh, roses, uh, petunias, fresh mountain lilies, tulips. Uh, all that's together is going to be 15 gold. Perfect. You you are just a delight. You are too. And remember, Astra Vaughn always respects his customers, no matter what. Except it's except for that you know old human that's been cheating on his wife. But you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> what? You know what? I'm gonna like I said. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk more about that. But I am in a rush right now. I will see you later. Thanks, I can now. All right. And I'm gonna head back to the uh. I don't know where where is everybody. The bored weasel. You said say wow. that again. The bored weasel. That's where I'm headed to then. All right. We're we're out. I think. Oh no, it's two p.m. I'm a, uh actually DM. Um, when I get I want to uh grab a uh, I actually have, I want to take some parchment and a uh pen pencil or feather I don't know, and uh write a note. And then I want to go. In, I want to go up to the uh, end, go into Edith's room, lay the flowers and the note on the bed, and I'm just gonna leave. What's the note? All right then. I'll I'll write down what it says in a second. Oh no. All right. You got. Uh, you see, Ivan entered the tavern. Uh, what are you guys doing? We were. I would assume that we left around the same time because at once we got there at two, we started drinking for a couple hours um, or a few hours. And then I pointed at my wrist and said to Narcoral that it was it was time, big buddy. 
and I assume yeah. we all kind of left at the same time and kind of split, so the rest of us wouldn't have been in there when he came back. All right. If that's so, cool. Yep, that's cool. Um, so you did all of this. Um, you basically, um, uh, you tie Narco up, um, then, and you wait and wait. Uh, Narco, give me a con check for all the booze you drank. Okay. I want to fail, right? Oof. Not good, anymore. No, not good. You keep on giving him beer, but he's still cautious. He does he, he's, he's buzzed, but he's not totally drunk or blacked out yet. And it's like, Jesus Christ, we fed him three hours worth of beer and he's still not down. We fed him three kegs. What is he, part dwarf? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, and so you guys help Nakral out to the bedroom. Uh, who's tying him down? Hell Wait, no, no, we're going in the woods, right? Yeah, I'm going out to the woods to find some some place. So I want to like shackle myself, like hugging a fucking tree, and have like bear traps on either side of me. All right, all right. So you have bear traps inside of you. Um, who's tying them to the tree outside of the town? General help. All right. Yeah, all right. I'll do it. All right. Roll me a uh, dex with advantage. Whoever is he whoever's advantage. helping. Straight dex or like? Uh, no advantage. Okay. All right, well, I, I have the most straight. dexterity. Okay, then yeah. That's here. Okay, then you get to roll with advantage. I don't have. Good dex. You seem you did a pretty good job timing down, and then anyway, man. He's tied, bear traps on all sides, shackled to a great oak tree. Uh, any final words before the morning? See you on the other side, buddy. Yeah. On the other side, buddy. And I'm... I, I love each and every one of you. Okay. Jen's, Jen's gonna go probably like 10 or 15 feet away and just like stand there and half power down. One eye is gonna stay open. And one eye is going to close. And he's not leaving Narcor by himself. Okay. All of you uh, make your way back to the tavern. We'll get to Narcor and Jen in a sec. As you see the sun starting to fade beneath the mountains. Oh. When they come back, um, I want to meet them, like, I guess in the bar area and just tell them everything that happened except for the roses part. I'll, I'm going to stop it right there. But, yeah. Tell him about the password and whatnot. Nothing. All right. Sorry, I was yeah. fucking reading. I, I'm I I'm okay with that. I, I, I didn't think we were done with the uh, uh, the his transformation yet. Only, only issue I. We'll get back to us in a second. He said. Are staying in. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry. My brother's at Anime North. And he's sending me pictures of dice right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, get him. I, I, will, I will Venmo him money to buy me something. Please. I need more dice. Um, um, so, as you enter the tavern, um, Ivan tells you that the password is written somewhere in the town, which allows you access to the mine. Um, it's getting late at this point. Uh, do you guys head up for your long rest? Yeah my long night yeah uh, we'll get like i said we'll get to you and narco uh, we'll get to narco yeah. and join the stack uh i'm 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 pretty much done edith is going right. edith is going to help and then leave it to jen and she's heading back to town uh, all right Rick will leave his owl with them in case something does go wrong he can fly back and yell telepathically once he gets within 100 feet Okay, this is more than a hundred feet for telepathic. I'm saying, I'm like saying you're he's deep there. in the woods. Something goes wrong. He flies back to right when he's within a hundred feet, and then I can hear him. He's going to be yelling if something does go wrong. Wait, so how can you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. How can your familiar be active if you're asleep? It's not a concentration thing. It's a summon. 
you have to be sent you have to be like awakened to summon stuff yeah it's it's summoned until it's died it's always summoned until it's died oh, okay fuck is find familiar find familiar I'll post it in the chat hey just a just curiosity this could be a ritual right yeah it's a ritual yeah all right all right double checking all right so uh do you guys all go to sleep now I do eventually. Edith's right. gonna start walking into her room, and she's gonna see a ton of flowers, and she's, you know, she's kind of excited about this. <clears throat> and she starts smelling the flowers, and she she starts looking around to see who potentially did this. Well, it says Ivan on the note, does it? Or does it not? He never stated it. It doesn't say that yeah. in the message. So I purposely I purposely did it like that. You don't know who it is. She turns around to Ulfric. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, where did you put the message in? Uh, general. Oh, just the uh, only general memes. chat. Accidentally. He put it in only memes. Okay. He put it in only memes. Oh, I did? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I did it on accident. <laughs> All right, just just read just read the only memes. You don't have to copy paste. Okay. Edith is going to uh, pick up the note, and you know she smiles and she's going to just is all the flowers that he bought or is it all in the room? Uh, yeah. Plus the notes, the flowers in the note. She's going to kind of just sit down on the, lay back on the bed and just kind of play with the flowers. You know, taking one of the roses and just picking off the petals and tossing them on the bed. Gotcha. All right. You all will get your long rest. Uh, Narkrol and Jen whispers chat. Okay. Twice in one day. Wow. Hey, let's go, Whispers. Hey, you're making up for it. <laughs> making up for all the times that you're not in there. Okay, bye. <laughs> all right. Bye. Well, all right. well, well. So, Jen has the one eye with Alteryx Familiar. Um, it starts getting darker and darker. And then, Jen, with your one eye, you look up. La Luna in the sky. <laughs> And you see Narcrow starts sweating heavily and heavier, and then he starts growing bigger. Also nude. Eyes. What? Also nude. Yeah. Okay. Um, his blue skin now becomes black fur, and Narcrow, I need a charisma check as he's starting to transform into your true wear bear self. Now, can it be black fur with like highlights of blue? Sure. Uh, <laughs> still roll me a charisma check. A charisma check? Yep. Uh -oh. It's not great. <laughs> Alright. So you start roughing, roughing, and you start to try to get out of your manacles and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and. You don't like being tied down whatsoever. Mm, I need a strength check for me to try to escape these manacles. All right. Uh, plus Jen, at this four. point, oh, Jen, at this point, both your eyes go wide open as you see this happen in real time. Okay. Ooh, yes. Jen is going to <sighs> take his staff to the python and just kind of have it at the ready. All right. So throughout the night, um, you see Nakro in his true bear form starts writhing and writhing trying to get these metal shackles off, but they're not budging. And then pretty soon after two hours of trying, he tires himself out. And then nice. you got you will get your sentry's rest. The owl tries to go and get Alteric, but stops when he realizes that it'd be a waste. And then you see Just him. as Narcrawl is starting to tucker himself out. Jen will walk over and crouch down and like put his hand out. Uh, one hand is on Narcrawl's like beast shoulder and the other one's like holding up kind of like a high five and he'll just like look directly into Narcrawl's 
changed form and say, remember who you are. You are Narcrawl, part of the High Five. We are oh. here for you. All right. You can see a twinge of recognition, but nothing more than just a second. Yep. That he's breathing heavy, like co coated in sweat, I assume, right? Like, yeah. Just mad at for sweaty. All right. So, um, the day, the night goes by without any more incidents, and around when the start, sun starts to get up over the horizon, um, you see that the fur reverts back into his blue skin. And you see Narkrol wide awake. Uh, Narkrol will take a level of exhaustion. Oh. Yeah. Well, that you stayed. Right. You technically still. Yep. You technically stayed up all night. He yeah, he yeah. changed back, right? He is now changed back, but he is exhausted. Jen will begin to undo the manacles and untie him. Say, uh, that was a that was a hell of a night there, big buddy. How do you feel? Nothing. Nothing happened. I didn't break away. I'm still here. Yeah, you're still here. We're all and still he's, here. He's gonna give a little prayer and uh, uh, ask Jen for a hand up. He's fucking exhausted and sore. Yep, Jen will help him up and uh, give him some of his, uh, give him like his shoulder to let off some of the weight as they, uh, as we begin to walk back. Thank you. Has, uh, um, has Narkrol ever, like, hummed things? Like, sung to himself or anything like that? Oh, absolutely. He whistles all the time. Okay, so Jen is going to mimic what he's heard Narkrol do, uh, whistling-wise. Or, yeah, I mean, Jen really can't whistle, so it's kind of like a mechanical, like, hum of, like, electricity, I guess, that kind of mimics whatever you most whistled. Just to keep your keep your mind at ease as we walk back. As you guys both walk back to the board weasel, uh, Narco probably changes along the way uh, into his clothes, along with other Xawel, and we all go back. To water source to dive into? Uh, no, sorry, okay. it's fields and mountains at this point. Okay. Uh, you, there is a mountain spring, but I'm pretty sure no one wants to climb a mountain right now, especially you. Jen doesn't yeah. notice something flapping against their leg as they're walking. Oh, mud. <laughs> All right, so back to the wisp uh, back to the general chat. All right, let's go. Man, want uh, cookie? All right. Well. Uh, you guys wake up on the new day um, as you head down for breakfast. Um, you see, um, once again, the bartender serving other people who are starting out their day and their whatever is throughout the town. Um, through the front door, you see uh, uh, Jen assisting Narcrawl with Alteric Sal by their side. Pretty cool. Ask the owl, how did it go? As probably as they came into range, the owl could have been, "Hey, we're back." Al, Al, Al I wants... would have been waiting for them at the front door. Sorry. Uh, also, you don't know what time they're coming back. You're not just like, oh, whatever. Um, oh, I mean, like it's morning now, right? It's morning, but you guys probably have to get changed, go downstairs. But whatever. oh yeah, yeah, no, that's um, all that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the owl goes, eh, try to escape, but I guess the sh the, the uh, shackles worked. That's good. But you could tell that Narcrawl is exhausted from staying up all night. Hi, buddy. <sighs> he's, yeah, he's, you he's need hungry, to too. His belly is grumbling. You can hear it. I immediately go to get food for him. You feeling right. okay? I'm out of Beatles. 
Are you feeling okay, Narco? Oh, wait, you said you want beetles? I said I'm out of beetles. Oh, shit. Don't okay. eat anything, though. <laughs> <laughs> and he's... Edith. Edith walks downstairs oh. and she's still in uh, the robe. And she's just kind of got the flowers and she's just kind of playing with one of the. Uh, uh, one of the daisies. Mm -hmm. Ivan is gonna. A water Never mind. Sorcerer, I'm not gonna do anything. A wash basin. Anything like that. There's a wash basin and a tub up in Edith's room. Yeah, Nez is gonna go up there and give himself a little bird bath. Alright. After. Uh, do you guys wait a bit for Narco to be done with Birdbath while he's doing that? What do you guys want to talk about? Walter's just eating breakfast. Alright. I'm just helping Narco get back right. You know, help him eat and whatnot. Are okay. we, uh, so I guess the plan is to go find the oh. druid? So Ivan explains to um, Narcrawl and Jin what happened yesterday. Well, that seems like Except a... for the flowers part. I'm going to cut out the flowers part. <laughs> hey guys, so I bought flowers. Fuck. <laughs> well, that seems like there. a lead. It, what you said. Some she, old lady. She's going to sit there and l look at the flowers. She's like, I think the old guy left me flowers in my room. <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna it's go. like, and she's oh, really? like, she's gonna take you. out this note and she's gonna show the group. She's like, do you think he wrote this? And she's gonna kind of like look over her shoulder at the bar for the barkeep. Does he know your name? Damn, can I roll a performance check that's to try and like pretend that Inflation. I don't know anything that's going on? I want to roll insight sure. on him. He's starting to sure. do yeah. Yeah. deception. Sure. For performance versus insight. I'm having my owl, owl help me. No, I just fucking... Meets it, beats it. I have no... Mm. I, hey, owl can help action. I can always just have advantage on things. Mm -hmm. So I... I just, Ultric is just fucking staring out of the corner of his eye. He is staring. Hey, as I'm, and as I'm helping Narcraw, I kind of notice him staring, and I just... I don't say anything, but I make the what are you looking at face? <laughs> oh, it's it's a fucking death glare, like you fucking stop. Bro. Back the fuck off is what he's giving me. So you mentioned an old lady might know of the password that we seek. So excuse me. Yeah, I was talking to a guy in town. A lady. Who, who doesn't... No, it was a dude. No, it was the a dude. Flowers it was a lady. It was a yeah. dude. No, no he was flamboyant guy, yeah. What? He? Ah, fuck. I heard lady. All right. So you heard flamboyant. You <laughs> I heard lady. Anyway, um, yeah, it was a guy in town. I'm not saying what he does, but... He uh told me that, uh, that the password was written by the druid in town somewhere. We just got to find it. And the town is not that big. Uh, I was thinking maybe we split up and trying to find it. That you that's, said you that's, mentioned that's all a I lady have. who knew it? No, it was a guy. No, no, no. It... Okay, never mind. Let's tell you, old lady. Who, what old lady are we talking about? So, I, I don't know how much... Is that just how you recounted what happened? That's what happened to me. Okay, never mind then. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say anything character. else happened? <laughs> uh, well, above table, I think I remember him saying that an old lady said she knew the password and everyone was asking her what it was and she was like, oh, I have uh, dementia. I don't remember. But That was the was... mayor who died. That was the mayor? Okay, never mind. Yeah. Basically, she was just random speaking, like okay. full set, full onset dementia. <laughs> okay. Back in character. Oh, yeah, that, that's a great idea, Ivan. We should probably split up and go look around the town. I mean, how hard could it be to find 
a password nobody knows about in a town we've never been. And Jen is completely it's serious, a, no sarcasm in what he's saying. I, and I'm <laughs> noticing a bandit for 80 years. That's been a bandit for 80 years. Yep. <laughs> well, Narco wants to talk to the uh, the barkeep. <clears throat> and he'll, he'll head over to. Well, I assume he's at the bar. Yep, he's at the bar giving porridge to a couple of uh, workers who are about to start today. What can I help you with, big boy? Are you going to growl at me again? Um, no. No, I I was dealing with some personal stuff and I did not handle it well and I took that out on you. I I want to apologize for myself. And I don't know what I can offer you, but not to be demeaning, but here's here's 10 gold. You know, hand well, over some money. Well, I heard you you are going to Vermilion. I couldn't help but overhearing you. That was when I was passing all the breakfast in the round. Uh, could you do me a favor? Do you mind laying just a rose on my uh, wife's gravestone, please? That that would be the least I could do. I thank you for this chance to uh, make it up to you. Thank you, Mr. Cleric. Yeah, we're just young adventuring group looking to make a name for ourselves. So, thank you for your assistance. And do you? Do you know where we could find this arch druid? Or you, you mentioned something about a, a, a password of some sorts? I I haven't seen her since when she sealed up the mine. But you you know the password yourself? I don't know the password. Only two oh. people know the password to the mines. Right. One of them's dead and one of them I haven't seen in 80 years or so. Did the mayor have any belongings, or when she passed, did she have any journals? Personal she had a uh, house. Is somebody living in the house now, or is it still vacant? Uh, the town's been abandoned for eighty years, so. Yeah. Okay. So. It might be a place to check. Well, I again. I, what's your name? Uh, my name is Lucas. Lucas. He, the narc will only, like, take his hand and, like, clasp his hand over top of it and shake it. You see this, um, like, 90-year-old black bone-ridden hand go, Oh, that's a strong grip you got there, fella. Oh, I'm sorry. He'll, he'll immediately lighten up. Not wanting to cause any offense. Uh, that's okay. The calluses give me more strength. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Tough old bird. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, do you have the flowers? Is there a place I can get them for you? There's a house that I bought on Siobhan that sells flowers. Okay. And, uh, we'll head, we'll head there as we head up. Alright. Thank you. No problem. And, yeah, head back to the group. Bacon in this. Okay. Alright. Yep. Following along with the... the group, kind of being quiet and just looking at her, uh, the note and the uh, daisy, kind of just spinning it in her hand. She was pretty oblivious to what was going on around her. She's doing that. Ivan is gonna say, um, now that I think about it, why would a druid write the password at all? Does that make sense? I might have written that. Yeah, but that's still strange. Why write the password? They don't forget. Were they hoping someone to find it, or? Well, we can we can search the mayor's house. I think that's a good Maybe. place to start. Narcrawl, do you know where that is? I honestly think we should split up and find that password. I think it's usually the biggest thing. <laughs> She's not ask. I guess if we go to Vermillion, we find the biggest house. Did the mayor live in Vermillion? Yeah, well, that's the abandoned town. Yep. So now, uh, yeah, we're all ready to go, fed, get the horse out of the stables, and continue on. Yep. 
Uh, I was gonna try and look for that password. Where? Oh, wait, wait, I, no. I'm just wait, no. Oh wait, hang on. So, Poga, uh, Narco, are you bringing the horses and carts because? Oh, sorry, mud season. If it is, it's Never gonna mind. be like, yeah. Jen's gonna stop all of the, the stables. The He's gonna stop oh. all of the stables and go to Bone Shadow, and say, "All right, Bone Shadow, Dad's gotta leave for a little bit, but I'll be back real soon. They'll take good care of you, and if they don't, give them a good bite." And he'll give him a little pat Ooh. on the neck. <laughs> All right. Oh. Bone Shadow nuzzles you a little bit. Yep. That's right. Oh, we'll you next. I'm gonna follow everyone right. else. Yeah. As you guys. Yep. As you guys are now hoofing it to Vermillion. Uh, you approach the outskirts of the town and you see a shoddy wooden <laughs> sign that says, um, um, uh, Ventures Beware, Path to Vermillion Ahead. Um, uh, you start walking for five minutes and you're like, I don't say any mud. And then, Jen, you hit a <laughs> square and your foot just goes plop Whoa. right from the mud. Whoa. And it's like, oh, and it's like, there oh, it just, yep, yep, he was right about the mud. It's like, Yep. Oh, thick old mud. Mud My season. Thick old mud season. Oof. No, Oof. I'm loving it. Oof. I actually Just... hate mud season. It sucks. And, uh, Playing out of character. Yeah. yeah. So, as you enter Vermillion, after yes. three kind of hours, a lot of times you have to stop and just wrench your foot out of the mud. I point. Just flying, carrying Edith. Right now, right now, I'm just a little bit. I need to get a good look at it. Yeah, just flying carrying me. I thought that yeah. worked for Edith. She doesn't want to get muddy. Yep. It's like, we'll meet you there as he's flying ahead. <laughs> I summon my uh, Eldritch Cannon and I just go, Edith, you can sit on that. I'm already, we're already gone. Oh. I'm carrying Edith. Her away. I am wadding through the mud, wading through the mud. Oh. She's fucking happy, just like, oh, this is the best day ever. I'll carry uh, Ivan. Lenore is oh, just. Oh, no, I don't need to be carried. Both. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. I was All doing something guys. else. Okay. Alright. Yeah, Ultimate right. just gives is giving you a smug grin as you fly the way there. Right? <laughs> just like suck it. Okay. Um as you enter uh Vermillion, the village is eerily quiet. Plants and wildlife have overtaken the crumbling houses. Leafless vines climb rotting walls. Birds and other small creatures nest in exposed rafters, and gnarled trees protrude from the fallen roofs of a few buildings. The overcast sky adds an air of oppression to the scene, seeming to envelop the village. And... Do-do-do-do-do... Uh, Where are you? There you are. Hey, new map. Let's go. No, I, oh my god. There are so many buildings. Looks like it's a really big one. Wait, right. DM, quick question. Yeah. Did the flower guy say that the password was written in this village or the one we just left? This village. That's this village. Ah, okay. All right. I misunderstood. Continue. All right. Start All right. To Where do you want to go? Walk in the direction of the largest house. Yeah, so that we would be. South, eh? Yep, you enter for the south. Yep, that would be the largest house. I'm going to house number two. <laughs> All right. We're going to house number three. Uh, as you end, um, you see that this is a stone mason's workshop. The front door mm -hmm. of the stone mason's home and workshop gapes open, with the remains of the door lying several feet away, covered in the long brown grass. The roof has caved in, and remnants of rotting furniture are visible through the open doorway. Blank headstones stand in front of the house, and one beside the doorway is engraved the words, uh, Terrace Frosthair, Stonemason, Inquire at Back. Uh, uh, call out to the party. Tell them to come here. This is on, this is on two, two or three. I'm confused. Two. I thought this was on I'm gonna three. Have a, I'm gonna have two. 
So we were walking right. up here. He said, hey, guys, and we came over. Well, let's go. Okay, Eli, we'll come over here. Ivan, you have to stop running off. What? I, did, I wasn't far. <laughs> I was right here. I just, I just show him, uh, I just show him uh, the uh, the uh, lo the sentence on the door. I I don't think they're in business, buddy. No, no, no! Look at the door. It says, "I think that's the gentleman's name and the name of his shop." And Ivan just snaps his fingers. Crap! All right, well, let's just keep looking. Yeah, let's. <laughs> All right, we, yeah, we want to head towards the big house. Uh, All right. Passing this very large, ominous tree, uh, Narco wants to take a All good right. look at it. Right. You passed the big, ominous tree. Um, uh, a bare tree stands on the lawn in front of the mayor's mansion. On the west side of the tree is a hollow knot about five feet above the ground, filled with dead leaves and empty nutshells. Is it, this is town's abandoned, right? This whole town is abandoned, that you know of. Edith wants to search building two before they, as they, you know, walk off. She's like, I'll catch up in a second. All right, uh, roll investigation for the stonemasons workshop. Uh, have help. My familiar is going to stay with you. Uh, da -da -da. I'm actually proficient in that. Well, you have advantage. You find enough of interest. You can... okay. Alright, she's just gonna kind of leave the door open and walk and catch up with the party. So, you're at the tree, Narfal. And yeah, taking a good long look. Uh, other than being leafless, it's only to find <clears throat> characteristic as a hole. Five feet up. Yep. yep. Uh, it's in the hole. Narco's gonna put his hand in the hole. Oh god. Um, uh, are you investigating the hole? Oh yes, I am. <laughs> he's, sticking his hole, he's sticking his whole, uh, his clobbers, just sticking it on in the hole. Uh, roll investigation for the hole, and the owl can't help this time because it was already helping Edith. Yeah, I never said I was gonna help him. Wait. So did I get invest? Did I get? Yeah, you would have had advantage on your uh, investigation. I'm gonna save you time. Even with advantage, you still find nothing in the stone Mason's workshop. Okay. Uh, yeah, you find nothing in this hole. Hmm. You like just, sticking your. Yeah, you want to kind of walk up. She's like, you like sticking your hands in strange holes, there, buddy. Oh God. Yeah, no, I couldn't find anything in there. It, it goes completely kinda... over his head that it was a sexual reference. <laughs> Aldrich is just fucking. <laughs> Just all fucking light truck right. out of him. Okay. Ah, well, he's, he's, he's gonna give up figuring there's you know there's nothing in there. All right. Uh, Meta wise, that's uh, hurting me because there's definitely something in there. There is. All right. <laughs> well, I was helping you, so it would have been the fifteen. Ivan's uh gonna go to the graveyard. <laughs> you keep running off. <laughs> hey, hey. This town is not that big. <laughs> yeah, you know, we know. Really 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 goes really off five children. seconds. Literally five seconds later, he's coming back, like, with Han Solo <laughs> and Chewie, with fucking 50 stormtroopers behind him. Fucking <laughs> yellow. <laughs> <yelling. laughs> ah! This town is 120 feet. It's a lot more than that. The map is scaled down. Yeah. It's... I know, I know. I was just... Yeah, I know. This map is only... This map is only 80 feet long. So is Ivan heading towards the graveyard? Yes. The, the spookiest part of town. All right, Ivan. Uh, you see a crooked wrought iron archway stands at the entrance to the graveyard, which is overgrown like the rest of the village. Headstones sit at odd angles, some topple completely. Small cairns, rather than inscribed headstones, mark the graves toward the back. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna walk in. You see a bunch of headstones of people you don't recognize. That's it. Yep, alright. Well, I'm gonna head back to the party. Okay. Oh, yeah, never mind. I I'm not gonna catch a spell. Uh, also, you see, also, while searching the headstones, 
You don't see any of the Archdruid's names, but you do see the dead mayor's name. Ooh. I just, I just look at it, uh, and you know what? I want to actually cast Detect Magic. You have the stick. I did give the Detect Magic stick back to you. Oh, well, I'm All just right. going to use the stick. Uh, uh, no, yeah, yeah, I already cast it. Yeah, I already cast it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right. This is the point in the game where I have to stop retconning shit. Um. Um. No, nothing magical here. I wonder if we dig up this mayor's grave, we might find something. I just head back to the group. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Murkrow. I saw you talking to the the barkeep. I know when we first talked to him, I I kind of promised that we would. Like go by his wife's grave. Um, did did you ever get like his name or anything that we could? I mean, I don't want to promise him and not follow through. Well, his name was Lucas. I'm you sure didn't get his wife. Will say Lucas's wife. No, it doesn't. You never got Lucas's wife's name. Yeah. Or the last name. Though he said a locket. He said a locket in a tree. He said a locket in a tree is what he said. You guys didn't find the locket. It must have gotten swiped. Probably. So that was... The hole in the tree is where the grave is. No. He put the locket in the tree. His wife's... Stop confusing me. Um... <laughs> no, we haven't he found the, the tree with the locket. Got it. No, no. You... you f okay, out of game. You fucked over your investigation check. And the locket got swiped. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There. So okay. now back okay. into game. So where are you guys heading towards now? I want to go the check big... out the. Oh, go ahead. The Sorry. Big... Uh. You know I mean. I was gonna uh, check this? out the cart, but y'all, 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 we can check out the building. I don't care. I'll stay with the cart. You mean uh, this building? <gasps> yes. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Basically. That's actually artwork from the book. Nice. He is gonna go up to the door and just kinda push it open. And that opens and oh <gasps> another map. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Local map session. Good. Is the map black? Oh wait, um let me scroll down. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, I, I was I was confused by that too. I was like, dang, the map. I was <laughs> I was gonna say a joke, but I'm gonna refrain. <laughs> Usually the situation. Oh, we got man. arrested. So, are we going in this uh, house? Oh, we absolutely. Are. We are absolutely. He just already opened the door. So, We've been clear. why don't we just uh, preset initiative rules all of a sudden? Oh fuck! Why ever would we do that? Huh? What could you be insinuating? The house is a lie. Yeah, right. Damn it. No, this is just to save time. Because I'm not. Garbage because you will shit. find stuff in this house, and I'm not making reroll initiatives for every fucking room. Hey, that's what he. All right. All right. And let's Dan, click go. your token, whoever did it. He did. You. Ah, he's son of a gun. I rolled a twenty-three, but I clicked my tick, my token. Did you oh, I did. Easy did with, uh, fix. Alright, this is just gonna preset shit right now. You guys got it. Alright, I had to turn on a little bit. Alright, so as you enter the house. I cast Guiding Bolt. No. I cast, I cast uh, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Casting nothing because you haven't encountered anything yet. Pew, um, pew, pew. So, you see that this is the mayor's house. Um, the entryway. Dust covers everything in this wide hallway. Moth-eaten cloaks hang from hooks on the left-hand wall. To the left and right, hallways branch off into the gloom. Ahead, a stairway leads up to the second floor. Um, and a door stands beneath the stairs, seemingly leading uh, to the backyard. Alright. Which way do you want to go? I don't want to. 
mace and shield out. Yeah. Evan is just gonna scream his name. God. I mean, not his. I'm so, sorry, not his name. He's just gonna. He's just gonna say hello. Like, Do see I... if he can get an echo. Wow. No one's Nothing here. Was... The town's abandoned. Oh my god, I forgot how stupid you are. We should, we should just He's always like, be boys, cautious. boys. <clears throat> She's gonna touch both of them on the shoulder as we start to walk in. She's gonna stick along this half. Oh, dang it. She wants to go. Let's see what's over. What's down this hallway? What's down this hallway? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, reveal areas. Down that hallway, you will see. Oh, no, there is something. Um, you see that this is a parlor. The parlor is empty except for four wing back chairs situated along the left hand wall and a desk in the right hand corner beside the window a fireplace dominates the southeast mm. corner it hasn't been lit in decades edith roll me d20 d20 okay um do, 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 d20 roll a 15. nothing happens I would like. I want to. I want to mage bolt everything in this fucking. I want to. Uh, do the. I want to go ahead and. I want to go ahead and summon my uh Eldritch Cannon. Yep, you can easily do that. Alrighty, that's it. That's all I want to do. We can continue. Edith's gonna go check out the room. Not really gonna have a seat. No, <laughs> he immediately gets fucking swallowed. I'm gonna save you time. There's nothing of interest here. Okay. Okay. But is well, the chair comfy? The chair is comfy. Oh, we care. What about. is? What is, is this? That could a be our house, if you think about it. This is the. We could we could make we this our town. We could. Yep. Yeah, we could. Oh, God, what did I do? I did something. Did you send yourself off to another side of the map? Delete I think yourself. I did. <laughs> okay, so no, no, you deleted yourself. You're not in the turn order anymore. I did. Oh my God! Hang on. Sorry. Sorry. How can you even manage that. Hang on. Oh, did you know if you right click, you can do this? I don't know if it'll pop up for you guys. If you if you're dragging your token while you right click. You Thank you. This. What was your initiative order? Eleven. You know eleven. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, it wasn't eleven. I'm sorry. What's your deck? I messed up. He has a plus two. As well. So do I. Well, Jen wins because Ivan deleted himself. Yep. By default. You yeah, you, 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 you're suffering there with you this pen. Alright. Ray Stevenson right. died. No! I uh, know. Please. Oh, okay, okay. Back on topic. Um. So, which room are you checking out next? This way. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I like this is going one direction. Either clockwise, counterclockwise. But whatever. Doesn't matter. We're going right, left, right, left, right, left. There's yep. a door here and a door here. I'm to the south. To that door. That door? Um, I, was, I was wondering what that little token was. It's the bird. It's my bird. It's Lenore. Alright. This is an assembly room. Chairs are arranged in staggered rows with their backs to the door, facing a podium in the southeast corner. A sideboard sits on the left side of the room, and a bookcase stands to the right of the doorway. Filled with tomes and knickknacks, a cold brick fireplace occupies the southwest corner. Once again, has been lit in years. Jen, roll me a d20. Okay. Uh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Rolling in a dark house. Rolling in a dark house. Oh, no. Mm. Nothing happens. And additionally, Jen wants to look at these books. Investigation. Straight to it. Is anyone helping? Fuck. I will help. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, okay. Taco's looking for this password. I, I know Jen's just looking out of his love for love books. Uh, okay. With the investigation, you find out that all these books are old and worn, and some of them are unreadable. However, you do find a small framed water watercolor painting of a mountain range, 
and a chunk of raw platinum from the mine. Ooh, chunk of raw platinum. He said uh, watercolor painting of what? Small watercolor painting, like a nightstand painting of, of a uh, mountain range. Oh. Uh, a mountain range. Is it the mountain range that we saw walking up? It is. Uh, Jen kind of wants to. That'll like, go for a lot of money. Looking at it and seeing that it hasn't really aged like everything else, he kind of just wants to run his fingers uh, over the wood and around the the side of it, just kind of feeling it up. Yeah, Deep it's like it. an uh, it, it's a, it's a desk pain, and you can pick it up with one hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's doing that in his hands. No, no, this could fetch a pretty penny depending on the buyer. Okay, he'll put that and uh, the platinum into his uh, bag of holding. Unflap it, reflap it. Okay. Narcol's investigating the trim around the windows and seeing how everything is aged. It's, it's now considering being as It's worn, it's dusty. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Who wants to check the next room? Yes. Yeah. That room? Okay. The poker room. Yes. A round, ta yeah. a round table with four chairs stands in the center of this room. Windows look out onto into the backyard. The fireplace in the corner is filled with broken masonry. A framed portrait hangs on the right-hand wall. It is sealed to the wall. Sorry, what do you mean? The picture is sealed to the wall? Yep. That means something behind it. Yeah. Uh, Edith, you uh, have your... Crowbar? I'm here. Sorry, I've been talking this whole time, and um, oh, you're unmuted. I was muted. Yeah, I feel uh, that. Uh, She's gonna really come in quick. here and help. Yeah. Before we do anything, knock roll. Roll me a d20. Yes, sir. Uh, Boom. Nine. Nothing. Nothing happens. happens. Mm. I don't know if this is good or bad. I know, right? Like, <laughs> kind of wants them to happen. Edith wants to pictures. look under the table. See if there's like something etched into the bottom of the table. Investigation. You have help. Oh, is it help? I don't know nothing. Tight. I didn't hey, see. Hey, roll again. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I gotta roll again. Give me a yeah, second. Uh, All right. That. Yep. Yep. I still oh, didn't see shit. Still just don't see. But you see a little bit more than the last time. Jen wants to walk up to that. You said there was a painting on the. Um, yeah, I'm gonna crowbar it off. Uh, I have a crowbar. Uh, so the painting is 1% moth eaten. This will not sell anywhere. But if you have a crowbar, you can certainly try. Yeah, it's gonna I, peel it I too. Do have find good it. Athletics. I don't have a crowbar. No, this is pure strength. It's a strength check. Oh, I have a good strength. I got a plus four, baby. Let me at this crowbar. Give her. Who's got a crowbar? I have. Edith has a crowbar. Edith, can I borrow your crowbar, please? Edith hands the crowbar. Thank you. All right. Roll strength with advantage. Do you do? All right. You pry open the painting. It splits in half, and you just see wall. That's it. Um, lame. Hmm. Next room. All right. Next room. <clears throat> The only room. So, Ivan, you're up next. Bada bada. Here's where shit happens <laughs> when I roll. <laughs> All right. You see a dining room. This room held a rectangular table with eight chairs. A sideboard sits against the far wall with dusty ceramic serving dishes and bowls atop it. A fireplace is in the far corner. Wow, this fucking place has a lot of fireplaces for some reason. Every car in the corner. <laughs> yep. Uh, Ivan, roll me a d20. Alright. 
We have to light all fireplaces. Nothing happens. And I'm gonna save you guys time. There's, I'm gonna save you guys time. There's nothing of interest in this room. All right. Well, let's turn around. Still got the upstairs. Like oh, damn. Start I didn't heading know upstairs. Was upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna go in. Go upstairs as well. All right. Upstairs we go. Right upstairs. To the upstairs. Hey. Up the stairs. And you're upstairs. And you guys got a couple of doors to check. Go on this way. Echo! Yeah. Echo! Echo! Our turn artist got deleted. Yeah. Alright. Anybody? Ho! 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 Alright. So, Alter, can you check in this room? Yes, sir. Oh, hello. I'm standing right on top of you. Fucking. Alright. And this room is. Let's see. This is a bedroom. Uh, the dim room holds nothing but a bed, partially coated in debris from the collapsed chimney. Cold air gusts through the gaps. You see a picture, an old picture of a young eight-year-old with her parents. I'm guessing mayor's either daughter or the mayor herself or themselves. Um, before we do anything, Alteric, D20. A 15. Nothing, Nothing happens. happens. Ugh. <laughs> what are we gonna roll? What are we gonna roll for something to happen? A 1? <laughs> I think we already rolled it. No, we didn't. I lied. Never mind. No, we didn't. Alright, I'm gonna investigate this room. Alright, who is investigating what room now? I'm investigating this room. There's I'm nothing of interest. Okay. I'm just gonna stay in the hallway. Who's oh, there's next? five bedrooms in the total. Uh, there's one right. Way? One door. There you have one, two, three, or four. Oh. Then I'll go in this door over here. On. In this room yes as you Ooh. enter this room uh, <laughs> you see that this uh, this is um this bedroom has a tall chest of drawers made of dark wood in the corner across the from the door farther into the room a small desk sits between two windows with a large bed to the left of it the sheets and blankets on the bed are rumpled. One moth-eaten pillow lies on the floor beside it. The other on the matchet was where it belongs. Jen, roll me a d20. Let's go. Super low. <clears throat> Pretty low. Ooh, yeah. Nothing happens. Uh, Jen wants to look at the... He said, it, was this an armoire? Over here. Yeah, it's an armor. Okay, he wants to look at that, and he wants to also check the desk. So. Uh, uh, you check the desk. <laughs> you see um, drawings of what appears to be of children. Uh, make like crayon drawings, and mm -hmm. you also, while you enter the desk, you see a picture of a young boy with his sister and parents. Um, when you check the armor. You see a lot of pants and suits and ties, and you realize that this is a boy's room. Does everything still look moth-eaten? Yes, it does. Okay. Um, Jen is gonna take the drawings and kind of tidy them up a little bit um, in a little stack. Um, and he's gonna take one of the, just one of the drawings uh, and open his bag of holding and pull out one of his books and put it into the pages and then the rest of the drawings along with the photo he's going to move it over onto the bed and put them on the pillow and bring the covers up to the pillow and kind of like flatten out the sheets and the blanket on top of it and kind of like make the bed a little bit and then he'll leave the room and close the door behind him 
Okay. Hmm. Edith wants to go and open the store. Okay. We shall do it. As you open this door, um, you would find that this is just the guest bedroom. Empty except for a bed and a fireplace. This room is cold and has an air of loneliness about it. Nothing of interest. Edith, roll me a d20. Okay. A d20. Roll. A 15. Hmm. Okay. Nothing happens. What do we got to We're really good at nothing yeah. happened. So there's... Can I check out this and whatever that is? This guy's bedroom holds no treasure or anything like that. Okay. No books with notes? No nothing. Nope. All right. God damn. You have two rooms left. Narcrawl Ivan. Which one? Narcrawl can go. On here. You're going to go on that one? And... Well, you found the kids. Now here's the parents' bedroom. Um, as you went to the master bedroom, um, a double bed sits beneath the windows along the far wall. A fireplace occupies one corner, and a window looks out the front yard. Narco, roll me a d20. Nothing happens. Well, I want to investigate this paperwork. Okay. Real investigation. Anything that seems passwordy. You don't find it, but you do find the, the, the Vermillion Town records. And you also find another Candle Keep book. Oh! Finally. We got a Candle Keep book? Say. Yay. Oh, God. Why'd you ask me that question? I wasn't... The DM calculation question com coming up. What? He posted a meme earlier. It was funny. Oh. And town records, you say? Town records, yes. Yeah, he already added it, Edith. He took up a different language. Would these town records have a list of who is married to who? Um, yeah, you do see a lot of, um, basically just, um, marriages, deaths, births. You I'm see, for uh, who's ever married to a Lucas? Um, Lorna. Lorna. Her full name is, um, this, uh, the record says about 80 years ago. It says, uh, Lucas, uh, Grossenbor, uh, betrothed Lorna Stanhope on this day of our, of, of the gods, yada, yada, yada. Lorna Stanhope. Okay. No, 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 no. Laura Stanhope. Stanhope was her maiden name, and then she took Grosvenor as her married name. So her full name would be Lorna Grosvenor. That's a mouthful. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll put it in the NPC list chat. And I'll definitely look at that. Yeah, and just basically look for uh, a headstone that says Lorna. Okay, sounds good. I got the name. All right. I don't have the so, exact flowers he wants, but I can, I can find something for us. So you did find the town records, but you didn't find any password. So one more room. One more room. Yeah, one more. Let's go check and out that... this one here. All right. I'll open it. Or oh, if this Who wants to open it? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll open it. Technically, Ivan didn't go yet. And this is, as Jen's eyes light up, the mayor's library. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is exactly what you're You hear, doing. like, a little short circuit coming from Jen's head as he kind of twitches and his eyes wink blink. What the hell was that? <laughs> Jim, was that you? Well, uh, before we do anything, I, I need to roll me 
before we do anything, Ivan, roll me a d20. Already on it. Twelve. No, nothing happens. Fuck. So, so, so much for initiative. Damn. You guys have a can I just mage bolt everything to see what the fuck some mimics would get at least some uh, combat in there? No. Uh, spirits that have decided they accept this. Yeah, no, it's because like, you guys oh. didn't. No, because you guys didn't roll one or two off a of d20. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds said, "Boring is good." Boring is good. All right. As you enter the library, shelves filled with books line the walls of this library, and four wingback chairs sit around a low table. In the center of the room, the wide bank of windows in the south wall afford a panoramic view of the dilapidated houses beyond the twisting branches of the tree in the front yard. Maybe the password is written in here somewhere. Got the wrong investigation. I'll take a shelf and start going, yeah. I have Everybody a plus three investigation seven. unless somebody has something higher. I got a plus seven. I got a plus seven. Well, All three got it. Dirty 20. Oh. Yep. You find the history of the town. Lovely. Um, who wants to read it? Uh, you. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I'll read it if I have. If, I'll read it if I. Ultic finds it, shoves it in Ivan's hands. Oh, no, it's just like I'll shoves it straight in his mouth. Just like speak, child. Speak the word of God. So, so Ivan, you're reading it? Yes, I am. Cool. Do you understand Dwarvish? Ooh. All cows comprehend no, language. Jen can speak Dwarvish. Oh, Jen can oh. speak Dwarvish. Can. Am I? Yeah, so can I. Oh, okay. Jen. Well, I hand it to Jen. It's like, Jen, you can speak languages. Light up. Like a loud book. <laughs> so, as you begin to read, um, out loud or to private, it's up to you. Oh. Um, you start about how this town was going to bring in new commerce, about how you, they got funding from the Brantifax estate and some Lord uh, Water Davians gave also invested in the mining village. Um, it talks about uh, blowing up the mine on day one, and then it starts rambling about, oh, we discovered this and this refuge, we discovered this and this refuge, and it just keeps on going notes, and then suddenly the pages start to turn to horror. First, it's like, oh, oh this miner disappeared. And they're like, oh, well, miners get lost all the time. And then they start talking about canaries disappearing all of a sudden. And then it's like, and then it's, it talks about uh, how five dwarves lost their life in an explosion. There was an investigation off of it, but they found nothing faulty with the dynamite. And so it might have been like a freak accident. And then the more you read, the more it starts um, disappearing and then finally you see in a half written like kind of like a last page entry you it talks about uh, feying creatures called mean locks they say that uh, the mayor starts like going off a tangent about these mean locks he writes that that they are corrupted by fey creatures that spontaneously manifest in response to the fey wild uh, created by their kind by transforming humanoids for the process of psychic torment. Uh, they live in uh, subterranean nests like mines or caves. Um, they could teleport in bright light or darkness. And he starts being like conspiracy theory at this point. And he starts turning, turning. And then finally, like the very last page, uh, you do find uh, the password to open the mind, but you also see um, a question says, could these be the things that are making all the miners disappear? Could this be the thing that is causing all these accidents? And then that was the final entry. Jen well, will have read this out loud, like speed read, so everyone can hear it. And I'll just yep. close the book, say, well, this one, I guess, will be okay for the archives and he'll put it into his bag of holding and i've been beginning to uh beginning to uh be frustrated goes oh, but there's still no password we found the password they found the password oh we did oh i, I read you the password 
we're gonna we're gonna retcon that whole thing. Oh. If the GM doesn't mind. Um. Is the password in uh, Dwarvish? The password is in Dwarvish. Okay. Yep. He would have read it out. What does that mean in common? He would have translated uh, everything to you guys. Uh, all right. So the password is um. The old Smith is drunk again in Dwarvish. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a good password. There's no Smith here. This house is cleared. Narco oh, right. good. Narco I told you room. there wasn't anything in here. So I, I claim this room. We're not <laughs> claiming houses, buddy. I claim this room. <laughs> it's 100% right. Yeah, that makes sense. You don't need a bed. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and Edith claim the south. Hey. Oh, no. Hey. Nah. <laughs> nah, buddy. Nah. Nah, <laughs> buddy. There's five rooms. We're all good. There's five rooms. Now. Edith gets right. the biggest room because she's Edith the only girl. The she's the girl. I get the room next. <laughs> all right. You get the little boy's room. I, I don't care. I get a room. Oh, it gets a bed for once, all right? Just don't it's disturb the, the bed and the pillow. Don't disturb the bed. Still have to clear the shrine to the kid. And establish. Walter, Walter is just sleeping on the fucking floor. That's what he sees. Dude, you better yeah. sleep on the is floor. Is it? Night, what time is it? It is about four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, search the town. Finish our searching the town, and then long rest it. And then on to the mine. Same. Agreed. Are you guys um, settling here and taking a long rest? Uh, let's not do it in the creepy ass room, but I guess. This is our house now. Uh, our house now. <laughs> General say to Narcrawl, I didn't see anything in the history about um, Lucas's wife, but I mean, we could probably guess which tombstone Did, it is. Do they have a last name? On, in the no, I, I got it. It was in the town records, but we found it downstairs. Oh, you got town records? Yeah, it's a lawyer yeah. or something. Yeah, it's gonna have the uh couples in yeah. Yeah, so I know I know what her name is now. Oh good. Yeah. I didn't bring the flower, but we'll find flowers in the woods. Yeah. The gesture so, is uh... So are you guys staying here for the night? Well I think we'll still go check around the town. Yeah, we're gonna go right, check back around tonight. town and we'll come back tonight. All right. All right, hang on one second. So let me bring you back to the town. Where are you heading towards next? The mines are this way, by the way. Do we want to finish searching the town? Well, this uh, this structure looked interesting to Narco when they went to go retrieve Ivan from uh, this structure. I mean, that's the only place besides the cart you haven't uh, explored yet. The rest are all just demolished or rotten houses. Edith wants to check out the cart. Oh, they go check out number one. Very cool. Help out with whenever, the whenever Narcrawl goes to the grave, I'm gonna go with him. Yeah, I'm gonna check the house and then go check the woods for flowers. All right, so we're gonna go to the graveyard first, just to speed this up a little bit. You do find a, a gravestone that says Lorna Grossenvor. Beloved of Lucas, forever my heart. How long do you think they were married? Until she passed. <laughs> and then Jen is gonna like <laughs> extend a single finger out to the tombstone, and he's going to carve in with his metal finger into the the worn stone the shape of a a rose. But the way he's carving it is like an old old school printer. So you're not sure what it is until he gets like three quarters of the way done. Yeah, oh my God. I, I, I love I love Jen so much. I do too, <laughs> man. Jen is yeah, Jen and is Edith. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, um, so since you technically put a flower on the gravestone, yes. Jen, uh, roll me a d6. Oh. Okay, let me put my munchies <laughs> down. Okay. Jen is munchies. basically a talking printer. He yes. is a <laughs> 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 That's a four. 
Uh, suddenly, you hear a whisper coming from the wind, uh, and you hear a small female voice. Only you can hear it. And, it's, uh, and you hear what appears to be the Raven Queen saying, You have done a good thing, my patron. Take this blessing. And for the next four days, Jen, you can't be frightened. Hey. No. Nice. That was pretty dope. Yep. I think and we now we're gonna go. Oh. All right. And we're gonna go. Who was that number one? Uh, we were going there after. All right. Are you going to the cart next? That was me, needed. All right. The road heading northwest of the village is soon overcome by overgrowth and disuse. Not too far past the graveyard, a cart stands abandoned in the middle of the road, covered with a heavy tarp. Uh, Edith's gonna flip the cart with the, the tarp back, so it's under. Anybody got a notebook? Because you found a ton of shit in this cart. Oh, oh, oh shit. Um, loot. I don't have a notebook, unfortunately. I got a notepad now. You find, um... A pound of salted dry meat, uh, still edible but not tasty. Okay. A Green. three bolts of common fabric. And two small bottles of wine. Mm. Okay. And I need a uh, survival check from you. I did not do well. Advantage. Oh, advantage? Yes. No. I did not do well. <laughs> nope, nope, that's all you found. Can I roll investigation? Nope, it's one, It's a one and done. That's all you all find right. off the cart. Well, oh, that's still cool. Yeah, got a good right. amount of stuff. Right. Now, is the cart in usable shape? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> no, this wood is splintered. The wheels are trash. Yeah, it's mud season. Yeah, it's mud. Yeah, this this cart's not going anywhere. It's like sinked into the earth. At this point. Alright, so we'll head down to uh, number one there. Number one, you find a blacksmith shop called the Wand and Hammer. A thick layer of dust covers the interior of this building. Oh yeah, the door is like ajar so you can easily open it. A forge sits dormant in the far corner, a blacksmith's anvil and an empty quenching trough beside it. On the opposite side of the room are two workbenches with stools. Narco's gonna go play blacksmith for a second. <laughs> and he's like stoking the fire. Pick right. up a hammer. Pretend to hit the anvil. He's All he's right. excited by this. Alright, uh, so uh are you investigating in this place? Oh hell yeah. Raw investigation. And I'll help as well. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, oh no, no, no! If I and walk out roommate. and then it's walk also... back in, can I roll? <laughs> no, it's yep. a, no, it's it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a one and done. Sorry, yeah, yeah. you found shit. It's just an abandoned blacksmith. I'm sorry, guys. I let you down. I mean, I enjoyed sorry. watching Jen. Enjoyed watching Narcrawl play blacksmith. All right, just to speed up the time, this town is cleared. Right, but how cool was the enemy lost? <laughs> yeah, I would tell you post campaign. Oh man, it's that cool. Damn it. Fuck. Fuck. Grimoire is <laughs> gone. As they're walking back to three, gentle, uh, ask Narkroll, uh, if he can take a look, or if he if he can put that that book. The uh the town records or whatever into his satchel because he wants to at least give Candlekeep something 
um, from Probably along their good. travels. Yeah, for sure. Also, just for the record, you don't have to give Candle Keep this book. It's just an achievement. I just realized we could have probably taken every book from that library and gotten the achievement. Well, no, no, because no. they would they would be warped and worn and moth uh, and they'll be like, nah, get this book out of my face. No, Narcrawl Nar still has the, the candle keep book, but Jen doesn't know that. Okay. Oh all right. Okay. Uh Eat if you still uh Eat if you're still there, you've been quiet. Yeah, I'm still here. Just okay, double checking. Just listening. All right. All right. So are you guys gonna long rest and head over to the mines? Yep. Yeah, Edith will long rest and head off. I was going to say, we're going to have to, because I already, I already put in a long rest on my character sheet, so... Yeah. Uh, during the evening, Narco wants to speak to Ivan about modifying his armor. So it's kind of like, uh, like a tearaway. Uh, so if, when he uh, transforms, he's not busting the buckles of straps each time. I mean, I can... I can do something, not... Probably not what you're thinking, though. Uh, one second. Where's my fine? My infusions? Where are you? Infusions. Oh, here you go. Um, uh, I mean, I can enhance, like, the armor. Like, I can enhance it, but as far as making it better, that's that's about it. No, I think it's more, it more just flavor, right? I don't think you have any. Oh, oh, change. yeah, I no, I'm just, I, am, to the armor. I am definitely your man. Um, but I'm gonna still go ahead and add the uh, the uh, infusion anyway, just just <laughs> you know, just to add to the flair. But like, how do you want me to how do you want it to look? So, just like clasps that if too much pressure is put on them, they will tear away. Mm -hmm. You know, if my body expands when I'm transforming me into a bear, as Ivan is telling the backpack to write this down, hey, VP, write this down. <laughs> All right. Yeah, class, 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 class. Okay. You guys will get your long rest and you wake up ready to tackle the mines. So. I tell, oh, sorry. Nope. Continue. I was just going to tell uh, Narcrawl, just give me a little time. I'll, I'll get it ready for you. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to need some materials. All right. As you all. Head towards the mines. It takes about a good 20 minutes. But, uh. Oh my god. Uh, also, here's the part where I gotta ask the, the. I gotta do the meme. Who here doesn't have dark vision? <laughs> do not. I think everyone has dark vision. <laughs> yeah. Edith can see in the dark. <laughs> I, have, I have keen smell. I have keen smell, not keen sight. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think your wearer can see in the dark either. <laughs> no, no, I was double. I was checking that. That's where the keen sight, the keen smell comes. So wait, um, Narcrawl doesn't have dark vision. No, no, for folks don't get it. And never oh, do wear bears, which is weird. Cause weird. Um, which is weird because it's a moon creature, but whatever. Um, a gaping hole in the mountainside northeast of the village marks the entrance to the platinum mine. Several carts sit outside the cavern. One is filled with rock and dirt pulled from the mine. The other piles with large beams of wood. New supports that were never installed after the collapse. Jen, you go to the mine and you see the illusion blocking you and you say the password. The old smith is drunk again in Dwarvish and suddenly the glittering um, sh magic shield just whoosh, dissipates. Is it still dark? It is still dark. The dark does not go away. The, uh, the, uh, Ivan. Um, Ivan is going to cast, um, what the, the hell is the name of that spell? Light bird. All right. I was going to say, I have light as a cantrip. I was gonna oh, the I, I can just pick up a bunch of stones. Uh, you can only pick up one, unfortunately. I just put a clarity. Harrigans get dark vision, Edith? Yeah. Yeah. Did not yeah. know that. I get uh, 90 feet. Well, I guess technically you're a fake creature, and elves and half elves get it. So. Yeah, we're we're uh uh. Technically, I speak Elvish and Sylvan. So. 
As you enter the main tunnel, the I mine is dark there. and damp, and you hear the sound of dripping water echoing from deep within. The light fades faster than it should as you more as you go uh, as you move deeper until you're wrapped in oppressive gloom and shadow. Uh, I need everybody to give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh boy, what's the DC? Oh, that's the wrong okay. one. Damn it! All right. Team, baby. Um. Oh, ho, ho. so I I accidentally rolled intelligence again. You got rolled a two 20. fucking net twenties in a row. Wisdom, what yeah. the fuck? Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. You're meant to make this. Right. So, Edith. So, Edith, you start getting paranoid Edith's a little re bit. Edith, you are right? kind of sweating over Edith. here. She, she, Edith is kind of freaking out here. Edith, She's like, guys. She's like, guys, there's something here. You just reroll. Reroll your wisdom save. Okay, reroll my wisdom save. Give me a second. It's. While she's my doing that. DD Beyond gonna... just completely cleared I'm going to go ahead and summon my uh, Eldritch Cannon again. Oh, well, she's still. Edith, still Edith is. Yep, still paranoid, Edith. Yeah. Edith, so, Edith's still in. Uh, she's like, there's something watching us. Narkroll will take Edith by the shoulder. Fine. Be like, you got this, girl. Hey. Jen's eyes will shift from the the blue color that it is to like a green, but it's like a, a nighttime, you know, a deer caught in a light green, night vision goggle type green. When y'all turn around and see Edith's eyes. Um, they're, they're, they glow in the dark. They're like, uh, you know, prey creatures, you know how prey creatures eyes glow? Yeah. yeah. That's what you see. Her eyes are glowing. All right. So you have one way up, one way down. Which way are you going? Timber. Um, let's... Go this way. Right. Yeah, let's go down. We're going down. Um, um yellow timber. Oh shit! You're immune to being frightened. Why? Why? What is up with this? Why am I getting locked on top of people? What is this map? Hang on. Why am I always getting Just put, press Alt to reposition yourself. Alt? Oh, okay. I yeah. didn't know I could press Alt. Yeah. Because that'll make you. Because you, that'll make you small. All right. So as you go to the southern wing, uh, this tunnel ends at a small chamber that holds worn picks, rusty shovels, and two hand carts filled with debris and rags. Hey, well, what's in the carts? Nothing that you could sell. Or use. It's all rusted or broken off. Anything over in these corners? Nope. All right. Onwards. Shit. Hang on, guys. The book fell. All right. While we're walking, I can just go. How is it that I can see so well in the dark? All right. Let's see. Just heads up, this is the final dungeon of the night. Damn. Yay! Hey, we're already on late. We're, we're, I thought you said we're going, uh, are we, are we late, by the way? Are we over? Yeah. yeah. Make you guys stop at a certain point. No, let's just go forever. <laughs> no. Damn it. No. Alright, are you heading up? Hang on one second. Are you going a left or right? Inky Binky Donkey, Daddy had a donkey, Donkey Dad, Daddy cried, Inky Binky Donkey. Right. What? What the what was fuck that? that? Oh, I, I am so that's never a, heard that. I am so sorry. That is a childhood thing. Just ignore it. I know Eeny Meeny Mighty Mo. What the fuck was that? Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's from the block. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is so, yeah. we go, so we going right? 
fact that my dad's black, and he is, I've never heard him say that oh, before. Yeah. I've never heard him once yeah, ever no, say no, that. This is so, a Texas where... thing. Oh, it's a Texas. So, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> all I heard was it's a black. I'm like, my dad's never done that before. So, as you go down this pathway, an interesting ride. All right. Uh, this tunnel winds back towards the entrance, and the south wall of the chamber at the end has odd divots and alcoves within the rock at various heights. There's nothing of interest here. All right. Moving, moving on. on. Yeah. Hmm. I was going to stick his finger in the hole. And let's go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Every little mining hole he's just fucking poking at. As you go this way, you see the residents of a cave in. Mounds of broken rock block the tunnel and piled from ceiling to floor. The upper parts of the cave in were passable after the collapse, but this seems an impenetrable wall of earth. And what's this? Uh, it's water? That is just. That is just aesthetic from the map I got off Google Images. Okay, so this is this actually is in here. No, that is there. It's just it's just floor setting. Okay, well let's walk on off. All right, as you go down this way, um, the opening of this tunnel is nearly circular. Black moss covers the walls, floor, and ceiling of the tunnel as far as you can see. Within this tunnel are several branches, all of them covered in the same black moss. And let's see. Narco's gonna take a sample of this moss. She just fucking grabs a handful of fucking noms on it. Just, oh. Okay, I'm I feel sure like that's how see. Narco takes samples. At first you help. rub it on your lips, see if your lips go numb. No. So you... many pathways, which one will you take? Let's all take one. Right. <laughs> I will just send my owl down every single party. one of them. <laughs> oh, shit. You... Right. You see the owl going throughout the cave. It goes left, right, up, down, center. It comes back to you and goes, Bro, there's like little cretins in this cave. Be careful. Okay, boys, there's cretins. Whatever the hell that means. Which way? Um, Edith readies in yes. action and gets ready to start blasting. There's one right here. Um, one down this pathway. A couple down this pathway. And the owl goes like, but there's like a big fucker down this pathway. Well, we're here to clean house. I just yeah. want, I just want to make sure no one missed over the rhyme that Eve, Edith just gave. The Just, rhyme. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she knows what. Yeah. That's so we got one. One this way. One here. One up this way. Let's get and the big one big first. Boy. Good boy. From go for big boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is everybody going go for big boy? All right. Yeah. Let's just go straight for big dude. Yeah, Jay, post your post. Uh, I've been posting your rhyme in chat that you did. It was hers, not mine. No, not the blasting part. The one that you were. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, no, okay, okay, oh. okay. Stay on topic. <laughs> okay. Uh. I'm just gonna go hard. Spiritual weapon, emboldening bond. Alter goes first. Spiritual weapon. All right, hang on one second. Let me get your shit. Um. Oh. Uh. Both emboldening bond. Alright. There's you your. Just leave out in front for once. Just like, alright, let's go. I'm ready. He's got a short sword. He's got two short swords, and he's ready to fucking kill someone. Fucking go! Two short swords, baby. Out and ready. Right. Well, are you moving? Yeah, I'm yeah. up front. I'm okay. trying to move my character. It's like, it's really hard because hold, these hold, squares. Yeah, hold alt, and then you can. Yeah. Yeah, hold alt, and then you can position yourself. I had to make them because you guys would be giant in this cave. Wah, 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 wah. 
think so I like know. I try to go here to there. I'm trying to be in between these two. Yeah, if you can, so grab your token me. and hold hold your left alt on your keypad. Hey Mark, on your keyboard. if you go to like the page setting, you can adjust the grid size and you can drag a three by three on the actual I grid did, side. I, oh. I, I did already and it fucked up, so I, this is oh, the really? only way I can do it. Ah, yeah, it's fine. I enjoy it. Now. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So Hell yeah, are you, brother. Are you going to charge again? Oh yeah. I am okay. charging in with the Elgis Cannon. All oh, right. Sorry. Not too short, sir. It's time to live. He is living in with her ready to action, and it's gonna just start opening up on him. Oh. All right. So. You have to think maybe we're the bad guys. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. <laughs> So who is the first one to charge in? Me. Ivan. Oh. I, are you all? A wizard. Are you, are, 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 a wizard. Are you cool? <laughs> Hang on. Are you all together? Yeah. Yeah. Kinda. All right. Are you all charging? Yeah. Narco's not charging. He's. Yeah. I, I, I'm doing my normal thing. Backwards. Stop. I did my normal for thing. For a second. Okay, Where I step the back big. and kind of blast. No, moving your token for a second. I'm trying to get rid of Big! Alright, so you be, be right here at the moment. Oh, okay. Jesus. Cowabunga it is. What the fuck? Oh, who is the first one charging, since you're all charging all together? Oh, the wizard! The wizard! <laughs> this fuck it. Alright, uh, are, are you all running behind him? I am. You are? Yes. Anyone else running running behind them? Like a light job. Yeah. I like... need to know. Are you? I. I final question. Are you all no. together or not? I can shoot him from here, so I'm going to stand back and shoot. Cool. So Ivan says you carelessly run into the hallway. You left off the dynamite trap. I need everybody who's near Ivan to make me a deck save. Oh yay! Twenty. Fine. Okay. I ran in first, so everybody. Twenty one. Twenty one. Uh, Jen, we need one for you too, buddy. Do you need one for me? Uh, yeah, I think you're okay. When the fools uh, rush in. When the fools rush in. Hey. So. My world. I'm an idiot. All right. So I'll be making. All of all these dynamites go boom, 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 boom. boom. Oh, yeah, uh, Aldrich, uh, Jen, and Ivan, all of you take 11 points of fire damage. Oh, and that's half, two. Oh, yep, and... Oh, oh, fuck, never mind, he... I don't want to run it anymore. And he knows you're there, roll initiative. Wait, I didn't get to shoot. Yeah, uh, let's roll, let's, on. let's, right, I'll roll initiative first. Okay, roll the 15, okay. Such a high initiative. Level. Let's go! Oh wait, I selected my character already. Why is it? Because I've been moving it. I rolled a 25. All right, hang on one second. It must have did it when you uh, moved moved us all, took it away from me. Um. All right, hang on is one second. Did... What did you roll? 25. 25. That's 26, 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The little one goes off on the same initiative. So hang on. Alright, now Edith. Um, um, do your surprise first with the one attack. Go. She wants to open up here on this one. Yeah. An 18. 27. That one hits. Fifteen will hit it. Yep, fifteen will hit it. All right, now we do the turn. Uh, Edith, you go first. <laughs> Edith wants to make a shot against this one. Yep, the big one. Okay, she is going mind. to. Nat twenty. Oh my god. 
Uh, she's gonna roll three. You said three d eight, right? Oh she's... my god! Oh. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at those bristles. Three d eight, yeah. Alright. Oh. Plus four. <laughs> I rolled really low. Plus four. Yeah. Holy um, crap. Right? Plus four. And plus she's going five. to yeah. spend one of her grip points, and she's going to have advantage on attacking that creature. The big one? Got it. Yep. And so. then she's going to fire off her secondary weapon. Okay. 12. That's a miss. Alright, I'm gonna action surge. Oh, say, oh, yeah, I forgot you get your shit back on a short rest. Yep. Well, we long rest, you didn't short rest yet. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, 17. Yeah, or, 17 or I rolled hits advantage. It. Hang on, I rolled advantage. Okay, still. 17 still hits. So 15 plus 17. You have to add five to that custom roll, by yeah, the way. 15 plus 17, 32 plus 11, 43. Points of no, because, add... no, because the first, the first, uh, the surprise attack, he, she hit the little one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then 15 to that, and then 17 plus 11, 26 points of damage to the big guy. Yeah. The crit was off on that guy. Yep. Uh, anything else, Edith? Um. No, that'll be it. All right, Ivan, you're up. All righty, Ivan's gonna move about right there. Okay. And his cannon is gonna actually be right. Oh, hold on. No. Okay. His cannon's gonna be like right there. Yep. Uh, the cannon's gonna go ahead and uh blast the uh fire cone towards the big boy. Does he have okay. half cover? Uh, no, he's not in the open. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a, uh, con save and beat a 13. Uh, 19. Ah, shit. Uh, he's still gonna take about... Wherever it is. Uh... Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, here we go. So you're gonna take three points of damage. No, four points of damage, excuse me. Yep. Fire damage. Else? Yep. Uh, else? Yeah, the uh and Ivan's gonna go ahead and shoot the same monster with the crossbow bolt. Uh doo -doo 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 -doo. There's a twelve hit. Miss. Ah, that's it. That's my turn. Alright. Alteric. Realizing his mistake and how squishy he is. He's gonna back up a little bit. <laughs> Hi Edith, how's it going? I don't know, I don't know. I'm over here. Hi Edith, how's it going? Um, big boy time. A little bit of bang. A lot of daggers. Uh, I was just, okay. I mean, I could have done that yeah, in 16. Yeah, he already did chromatic orb. So, yeah, do more damage. Uh, they gotta be locked into space for that to be really effective. Uh, do it I need to make a save or not? No, he fucked up. Chromatic orb is straight damage. 16 lightning. Uh, oh, what type of damage? Lightning. Okay, takes a 16 lightning. That's to the big boy, right? Uh huh. Hey, All right. That'll be my turn. Alteric. Hi. Very much. You mean Narkel? Oh wait, was this? Oh wait, no, no, Narkel. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, I just went. Why are you saying my name again? Can I make it to oh. Ivan? Is this accurate as far as uh, 10 foot squares? Okay, so yeah, I'm right. going to pull up beside Ivan. However, with my movement, I am also I'm gonna do my balm of peace again, uh, restoring 2d6 to Jen and Ulthric. Yay. 2d6 plus 5. Uh, so 13. Uh, can I just say that one roll applies to all of them? Uh, yeah. Because I can, I can hit multiple people along the way. 
You both get you both get thirteen, and I stop at Ivan, who also gets thirteen. Thirteen hit points. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's intact. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Back, Back to full. Thanks. Yeah, that's my action. Bonus action. Uh, my you... spiritual weapon would have come with me though. Yeah, hang on one second. You gotta go back and find it now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it is it. Yep. Oh, no, not that big. Oh, yeah. That bigger. Oh, yeah. Bigger. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Special weapon? Yes, sir. And whammy. Whammy, whammy ish. Whammy adjacent. <laughs> whammy adjacent. I like it. Whammy adjacent. And that will be my turn. Alright. So, now these guys' turn. Um, and they're gonna do some stuff. First of all, <laughs> this dude is going to shadow teleport behind Jen and Ulthric. Oh, hi, buddy. Holy oh, shit. No. Wait, they don't need line of sight to fucking teleport? Oh, no. No, they have dark vision. No, line of sight means they can't teleport. They, they, can, see see, they, they can see Jen from that angle, and it's a big boy, so. No, I'm saying he can see around this wall. Anyway. Oh, it's teleport. I can teleport beyond the wall. It doesn't need line of sight. Look at Misty Step for a prime example. Um, so that was going to take a swipe at Jen. Okay. Mr. Right. Step is an un unoccupied right. space you can right. see. Alright, 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 all right. stop arguing. Stop arguing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no. Nine misses. He's going to take another swipe at Jen. Okay. Bring uh, it on, there's a big boy. Does a, does a 23 hit you? No. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you are taking, um... Uh, seven slashing. Mm, okay. Oh, and I need it. a con save. <laughs> uh, I need a con save from you. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Plus a d4. Got it. Uh, uh, plus, uh, r slash, or is it slash r? Slash one, d4. This seems about no slash r one d four. That'll do it. Hey, a four, so hey. that's a fifteen. That's wait, a good number. Wait, wait, wait. Where'd you get the plus four from? Just out of curiosity. Emboldening bond. Emboldening bond. Emboldening bond. Oh, okay, got I it. Emboldening bond. Right. Yep. Um, this one is going to also shall teleport behind Narcrawl. It's going to take a swing at Narcrawl. Not no, crawl, does it? No. You. 17 does not hit you, obviously, because of your breastplate. And then. And then all of a sudden. Um, another creature will teleport behind Edith. Oh. And because you guys. She didn't know it was there, it will have advantage. Eat up the top ten. No, that's a miss. Damn it. All right, let's get in those creatures turn. All Jen, right. you are up. Jen will say, all right, his green night vision eyes will shift to the big creature and say, Jen's time to shine. And he'll take out his, uh, he'll, his staff in his hand. He'll knock it against the ground like a... Uh, you know, how Gandalf did. And, uh, he'll just speak a slither of snake. And, uh, <laughs> constrictor snake will jump out, uh, and attempt to wrap around this large infestational creature. And needs to make a, what the fuck was it? It was, oh, it's a, it's a hit. Okay. Um, to hit 23 to hit. And it's going to be hits. four uh, bludgeoning We're damage as the snake wraps around him. And he needs to make a... Uh, 
Oh, you are grappled. You can escape with a DC 14. All right. So you are restrained. Uh, okay, that's an action. Uh, any bonus action? Uh, bonus action is going to be Hex. Uh, Jen right, is going to raise his hand. Uh, he's going to raise his hand uh, at the creature and large spectral ravens will come out of his hand and circle around this creature and the snake uh, and it'll be Dex. Nice. And then Jen will uh, run up to it. Oh yeah. Sh uh, alt. Wait. Yep. And he will spend a key point. Yep. And he will punch it and say All right, it's advantage. not nice to teleport near people. Bam, bam, bam. You got the first one. Uh, me to beat it. Okay. And it'll take six bludgeon damage and the second little pop will be 12. Emboldening Bond, is that just on checks? Uh, it's on everything. No, it's on, yeah, it's on everything. It's okay. I play, a piece, I play a piece domain on Wednesday, so I know it's on everything. Okay, so... And you still have advantage. One, three, four, three, hey, 15. Into it again, roll damage. For six bludgeoning. And then yep. you will. Sp can I spend another key point? Uh, isn't that a bonus action to spend a key point? Oh, yep. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. That was that yep. was it. And that's all he's going to do. All right. Top of the round. Edith. Edith will shoot while she can see this guy. Okay. You have one. Remember, you have an advantage because he's restrained. I have advantage because the restraint. No, the because I did my thing. Oh my yeah. Trick shot. There is one behind you. Don't be what? It'll be okay. I got you. Don't worry. Twenty-seven to hit. That hits. Sixteen damage. Yep. And then pistol shot to the same dude. I crit on that one. All right. Um. Give me a second. There we go. Yep, Those which bloodied. And then Edith will bunny hop to here and then run over here. All right. And end her turn. All right. Ivan, you're up. Alrighty, so my cannon So the cannon is actually gonna move it's gonna roll all over to right here next to Ulthric and um uh, sorry um you know what? Yeah, sorry, um, uh, Jen, you're gonna have to, <laughs> you might have to, you might have to take a little damage here, my boy. You're gonna kill Lenore again? You're gonna kill Lenore again? <laughs> is Lenore on you? Yeah, yeah. Lenore's Oh, shit. With I don't me. wanna do that. No, do it. It's fine. You just made you a sure? lifetime enemy. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, to the, uh, the yep. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <the relationship. laughs> Do it. All right, man. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, yeah, the cannon's gonna go ahead and uh blast the um blast whatever's in front of him. Um, and it's gonna have, everybody's gonna have to make a con save of thirteen. Excuse me, a deck save of thirteen. Me, me too, motherfucker. No, I think you're fine. Where are you? Are you here? It's a cone. Oh, yeah, we'll okay. Sir, you. Spanch kills Before. you. Uh, twelve. Hey, sorry. Um, and then sorry, Lenore. Jim. Going to make. It doesn't even. It doesn't, it doesn't even bother. It doesn't yeah, really it matter what Lenore does. Doesn't matter. Let her yeah. do her thing, okay? God damn. It doesn't Kill matter. Lenore. Let me. Let me just delete Lenore. Goodbye. Yeah. Everyone is taking six points of fire damage. Okay. Oh, still up. 
All right. And it was this bloody. is severely bloody now. The uh oh, and Ivan is also going to, with his crossbow bolt, shoot. He's gonna shoot this little mother. He can. Those are ten foot squares. With a sixteen. Sixteen hits. Yes. Let's get it. Thank you, Drake. Uh, six points of piercing damage. This boy. And that is the Ooh. end of my turn. Alright. Alter, gear up. Hi, buddy next to me. How's it going? Uh, fuck off, please. I'm going to choose Miss. to re-roll that. Alright, that's your second one of the day. It's a fucking ten. Alright. Alteric. This dude goes bye bye. Oh, he does? Oh, okay. I was aiming for. But. Okay. Oh, oh, you were aiming for that no, one? No, I'll take the big guy. No, I'll take the no, big guy. Ah, ah, ah. You don't be deleting him already. No, Too late. No. No. <laughs> no. Hey. Jink can finish hey. it. Jink can finish it. Jink can finish it. Jink can finish it. Don't worry. Um. Yep. Um. Okay. Well, it's a 16 hey. hit this one. Actually, the 16, 16 hit that one. 16 does hit that one, and it had one hit point left. Okay. Now it goes away. Yeah. But, now you still got this guy left. So, That's Jen's right. Hex I'm... is going to shift to that creature now. Oh. Uh, uh, um, do you do that out of turn? Because it's not your turn yet. I think... You can do that out. You, uh, you, gonna, I think you can do I'm that out of check. turn. I'm gonna check, like, I'm... Up just to make sure. I thought I'm like so, 90% sure you yes. can do that out of turn. Uh, if a target drops zero hit points before the spell ends, you can. Okay, I have to use a bonus action on my can turn yeah, to that's curse a new creature. Yep, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that was my turn. Right, uh, that was your turn. Not you're up. Yeah, uh. Again, can I make it here? Other uh, 10 foot squares, so yeah. If you have 30 feet, of, uh, do you have 30 feet of movement? Yes. Okay, you can make it there. Here's a weapon. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, suck on my boomstick. Oh, my boomstick baby. All right. Uh, that hits. Takes the seven bludgeoning. Uh, my first weapon had enough movement to get there. I think it only has 30 feet as well. Uh, yeah, that was exactly 30 feet. Yep. Okay, there's a weapon. Let's go. Alright. Just to accentuate my point. Uh, it's bloodied. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm gonna, like, snub his nose at it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll stay right up there in his grill. Alright. Next Let's up is ball. the creature as an action. Now, Carl, I need a wisdom save from you. Uh oh. Plus seven. Tough cod. Oh, oh, shit. Yeesh. Yeah, you, you you don't get frightened by the fear aura. Damn it. Um, <laughs> but bonus action. Let's see if I get my shadow teleport back. Hey, I do. And it's going to teleport right here. Oh, hi, buddy. Hey. All right. Next up is... Next up is Jen. Okay. <laughs> Jen is going to use his bonus action. Uh, well, actually, let me let me read this really, really fast uh, about my Constrictor Snake. Um, can't restrict... Oh, wait, wait, it, it wait, 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 wait. We got to go back. I need the constrictor stake to make me a deck save. Oh, you're right. It's a... <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, it's a magical I creature, <laughs> though. I don't think it has oh, it health here. like that. No, it just turns into a large beast. Yeah. Um, Wait, which one was the grapple? 13. Oh, you're fine. Oh, this one. Okay. You're fine. Six fine. Okay. Uh, I don't see where it says that I can... Go on. Uh... On your turn, you can verbally command the beast. No action required. Okay, so I'm going to command it to constrict this guy. So it's going to slither a snaky slither over there. 
Uh, he's got 30 feet of movement, so he'll get there. And he's going to attempt to constrict that creature to 16 to hit for 7 uh, bludgeoning damage. And he is now grappled and restrained. And then stop Jen... right there. Okay. I'm going to stop it right there. How does a snake want to do this? So Jen <laughs> is going to take his staff that he has, flip it around, and point with the little... I, I envision the staff to look like Jafar's staff. And oh, yeah, it's made yeah. out of metal as well. Uh, and he's going to point at the uh, that, that mean lock and just say, Constrict. And the snake is going to slither around Jen. It's going to, like, climb the wall and, like, slither across the floor and just begin wrapping and squeezing. And its eyes are going to glow like Jafar's red, you know, staff eyes. Uh, and looking directly into this mean lock's eyes as it just constricts the life out of him. And that's how he wants to do it. Snake sounds fucked up. <laughs> uh, like it. Emotional issues needs to work out. <laughs> All right, um, Jen, yes. as you enter this um, huge um, chamber in the cave, uh, you smell that. Uh, well, you don't smell, but the others would smell uh, that new scents greet you here. The musty funk of decaying fabric and old furs. The smell rot linger in the stagnant air. Thick pillars of moss cover stone support the 20 foot high ceiling, and waist high stone slabs dot the cavern. I need somebody to roll me a perception check. I'll do it. Hmm? I'll assist. Thank you. Roll. 22. Yeah. You find a. 25. Yeah, okay. Uh, you find a knapsack. Covered in spider's webs, right here. I'm a. I'm a light it on fire go. first. Light off, light out the fire webs. The spider webs you, on you, fire. You, you can just wipe them away. You, know? you can just hey. wipe them away. You don't think set set on fire? No, set shit on fire, damn it! And then I'm gonna grab the knapsack. <laughs> I've been playing too much Metro. I gotta light all spider webs on fire. A knapsack. Uh, through a thorough search, you find fifty gold. An ivory drinking horn with platinum filigree and a set of goggles along with a book that looks like uh, let me explain the book hang on yeah, can you can you say the items one more time for me I'm trying to write them down so we have an ivory horn 50 gold 50 gold and a book a book on the on the spine, it says, The Price of Beauty it is bound in soft green leather, 8 inches wide and 14 inches tall, and set of golden class. The book gives off the unmistakable scent of lilies. Set into its cover is a polished oval mirror with a delicate gold frame, styled like locks of hair, which appear to spill down around the face of anyone who looks into the mirror. Uh, also, fucking visibly shudders at this. Like, uh. all right. What are you doing now? You have a set of goggles, a book, an ivory drinking horn, do and fifty gold. Like, do they just look like normal goggles? It, it's up to you. Do they look like normal goggles? I will roll Arcana. He just wants to just put them on. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. I'll give him. I mean, they're goggles for now. Edith is gonna put them on. Okay. She looks like Gadget from Rescuers. Yeah, but <laughs> she really likes the goggles. Uh, you like the goggles? Okay. Yeah. I put them on. Hey, what hey. happened? Do I feel uh, any different? I don't know. You, you gotta, gotta wait an hour. something. Gotta wait an hour. It's probably magic. As item. I see. As I see Edith put the goggles on, I just go, Twinsies, and point to mine. <laughs> Any high fives? <laughs> General State to Ulthric. You, you found a book? Uh, he'll, he'll, he'll do, he'll move the book to right, to show the mirror right to Jen's face, as he's kind of staring up at it, like using it as a portable mirror. Like, here, look in the mirror. 
What does Jen see when he looks in the mirror? You see Jen with blonde fucking gold locks of hair. <laughs> you should see a mirror, but if someone wants me to roll me a religion check on this book, Ooh, I will give help. I have a plus to. seven. Plus seven. Well, I don't um, have a plus seven. I'll give help to you. Okay. I'll throw if you roll. 26. Um, you realize the, um, the, um, the, the dreads that the mirror gave off in, uh, circular patterns represent the goddess of beauty soon in, um, the Forgotten Realms. Ooh. We got another okay. candle key book, boys! Like Can I take a here. look at it? I will yeah. hand you the book. And Jen is going to begin flipping through the book. Are you sitting down looking at the book? <laughs> uh... Yeah, he'll go over to this blood-stained thing and just kind of lean against it and just start working his way through the book. The book is filled with beautiful illustrations of woodland scenes, art, jewelry, delicate handwriting accompanies the illustrations in the form of short prayers and meditations dedicated to seeking self-worth, techniques for massage and healing, and recipes for creating bombs and cosmetics. And then all of a sudden, are we all taking a short rest while he's going over the book? Fine with me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah! You said the magic words! The book comes to life and becomes sentient! What? What the what words? What? what? Ooh. And, yes? And he goes, <laughs> The book starts talking to everybody. Well, the book is what? talking! And as you see can, a floating, blocked. you see a floating book go over to all four of you and go, Well met, dearest ones. How do you all feel today? You're Fine. a talking book. This He's a talking amazing. book. Um, that is a talking I, book. This is the reason game, you get excited. What, I feel okay. Do How do you feel, book? I feel fine, but I want to make you five feel special. I know how. And then suddenly, all five of you black out for eight hours. What you also the? Come to, you also come to a long rest. You all get your level five. And we'll see what happens next week. Hey. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Oh, my God. What's, what's going on with the goggles? The goggles, by the way. You said I had to roll something. Jenna I love, I love uh, that book. You're going to have to wait till you wake up after your eight hours unconscious long rest. Yeah. Okay. Well, I love that book. Yay. Um, what words did we say to activate it? That's what I'm fucking confused about. I said, do you need a short rest? Uh, we said yes. Yeah, you did. And we'll see what happens next we'll... time on next Dragon time. Ball Z. <laughs>